Okay, so back, 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 back. So back to reality and I don't know, something is with the internet. It's like extremely slow. I don't understand why. It's like what could have happened here? Why is my internet so slow? My internet is so slow. Me mine too. Okay, so maybe just died. Want to reboot, uh, yeah, maybe let's reboot because it's extremely no, bad. Mine was, I had a delay for like one second. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we have to reboot the computer, uh, reboot the router. So we'll be back again in uh, I don't know, a minute or two because it's like horrible. It's actually not my computer; it's just the internet, and it sucks because. Seems like every time when I went to stream League of Legends, it's just like so bad. Okay, so let's uh, hope that we'll get reconnected very soon. What's going on with all of our chroma key stuff? Okay, here everything looks kind of okay, but in the real video is uh, super bad. Ha 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 ha. What's going on? Chroma key, filter. What if we go low? Lower. Yeah, probably there was just a bug like in uh, my computer or something. Okay, let's uh, see if YouTube is back and if it will be faster or not. And meanwhile, some sounds. And meanwhile, okay, so it seems like fine sound works. <laughs> For some reason, yep, you can, you can see it didn't really help with the speed. Still the same crap. Oh, yes, I hope it's just like temporarily. So, oh, one FC. Let's uh, hope that it will be a little bit faster now. Let's, nope, nope, nope. So, live. Live, live, live. So do you think it is only five words? What if it will be like in like Google Chrome if we try? Do you think it will be better? Or the same stuff? No, it's um, I guess the same. So yeah, there is no really reason to move from one browser to another one. Okay, wait. Da 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 da. Okay, still bad, and uh, still, let's try to see maybe compilation with the uh, who? With Rod Chang. Okay. God. Okay. Control C and new tab. YouTube. Does it work fast? The person says, I don't know, it means probably better than mine. Mine is not. Yeah. Yeah, it is connected. Let's try to maybe reconnect. Ha 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 ha. Here. Yeah. 
Okay, now it's maybe slightly better, but still very slow. I think I need to drink a bit to make it better. So cheers for the best of the best. The 31st of July, we'll see two Muay Thai superstars clash. Yeah, exactly, today. In the red corner, one flyweight Muay Thai world champion, Rod Tangjit Muangnan, a fiery ball of kinetic energy. Considered the most exciting Muay Thai artist on the planet, he has ripped through the competition with his aggressive style. Always coming forward, there's no backing up on Rod Tang. Okay, okay, let's hope it will be really good and here is my little Across the ring, uh, the rice omelette the with the curry pet dam pet in the academy an agile elusive trickster with a thunderous left kick One of the most feared roundhouse kicks in the entire world. i kind of wish pet this dam microphone was on the other side but i can't keep it on the other time, side proving too quick and slick for the opposition The two share a past, having competed against each other twice in Thailand, hmm. with both owning a win apiece. ใครเจอกันมาแล้วสองครั้งก็เขารู้สึกตื่นเต้นครับที่ได้มาเจอกันอีกครั้งในเป็นครั้งที่สามเพราะสองครั้งที่เจอกันมาผัดกันแพ้
but probably the diversity, <laughs> cultural diversity. And she looks so cool and funny. And um, what was that? There was one video when she was uh, cooking some egg and uh, tomato at home. And her husband was always correcting her, ah, oh, like, you can't cook, you don't know how to cook. And she was like, uh, yeah, not really a good cook, but it was so nice because it was like so friendly, so kind of homey. Stamp Fairtax made history when she claimed the one Adam Waite Muay Thai world title, making her the first two sport world champion in one championship history. No, I'm not. I'm just After watching some her stuff. Thai world title in June 2019, Stamp set her sights on a world title in a third sport, mixed martial arts. Her first test was the explosive Indian national boxing champion, Asha Roka. So what do you think of fighting girls? Is it like, okay if a girlfriend is a fighter or not? I'm just curious, like, would anyone be scared if, like, you go on a date, you like the girl, she looks, like, nice and cute enough to... Oh, what do you do? I'm a fighter! I'm a Muay Thai fighter! She looks a little bit like a frog, but, like, kind of cute frog. Powerful frog. Ooh, okay. Nice kick. A nice knee. Hmm? What happened? <laughs> the video ended? That was so short? Oh, advertisement, of course. What can we do without advertisement? Would it be even the life of it? Activity and combined history of its players. They will go into a meltdown. It's Stan Fiatix knocks out Asher Rogan. Oh, you're calling me? Yeah. Inside fire kick from Stan. That's weird, like in this point. Yeah, oh, that's why I kind of got kind of So much more delicious and easier to eat ribs with two hands. Ooh. Wow, that was a nice right cross. Take down, okay. And oh, what would she do here? Okay. Is it the end? Would she knock her out? Oh yeah. She's almost unconscious. She's just like trying to defend, but it's not good. Wow, that's... You see, like, usually when girls fight, they kind of really, really fight. And when guys fight, and when it's allowed, uh, like, they allow takedowns and, like, grappling... Oh, that would be super boring and take a lot of time. They would just, like, lie and 
sometimes they'll swing their arm once. And here is like a lot of things going on. And three minutes and the live stream will begin, the live fight. Okay, do we have any paper? Oh yes, we do have some paper here. That's cool. Oh, oh my god, they're like the fight of titans. Both girls like they're really, really trying hard. Okay, unlock. That didn't work that well. Okay, knee to the torso and... Whoa. That's intense. There are like two snakes in the pan. Oh no, I hate this advertisement. Why do they always show them? Fly hundreds of ships. There's like two ads in. And I can't even escape it, like, oh my god. <sighs> blah, 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 I don't want to play this game, thank you, skip the ad. Okay, one minute until the full live stream fight will begin. Okay, 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 and... Surrender or not? Surrender or not? No, she's just protecting her head. Ooh. Okay, next round. Well, I haven't seen that fight, but both girls are super tough. Of course, like you can see, obviously, Stamp is dominating, but the other girl, she is not giving up. She is like, okay, maybe, maybe you're cool and famous, but I will try my best. I think it's time to check what's going on here. Okay, here alive, la 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 la. Um, okay, so far it's just still intro, not interesting, nothing interesting. We can keep watching fair text. Stamp fair text. By the way, fair text gloves are so good. So comfortable, even like for uh, complete beginners, there is such a difference between like cheap crap that like Chinese copies and fair text. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so some stupid intro. Do we stop it here or no? Okay, stop. Okay, never surrender. <laughs> it's not my motto in LOL. to show this part of the fight that we're watching with the stamp. That's interesting. One championship, no surrender. Headlined by the one flyweight Muay Thai World Championship as Rod Tengjin Wangnan defends his belt. I like when they're dancing actually. It's really fun. Makes it more entertaining. I mean, just go and fight is like a little bit boring. I know they have to kind of be focused, but why not to be a little bit silly sometimes? 
and top featherweight kickboxers Super Bon and Sitachai Sitsong Pinon clash for the highly anticipated third. I thought to be honest that Sinichai he kind of I was planning to retire, but maybe I was wrong. I'm wrong. Champion Stamp Fairtex in a mixed martial arts battle against undefeated Sunisa Srisen. Brazil's Fabricio Wonderboy Andrade faces Mark Tyson Abelardo. And two Muay Thai world champions face off as Penpayak Jitmo. There was that Korean guy. He was like a super boy or something like that because he was super cute and stuff like that. And he always made some funny hairstyles. And I've seen like only one or two fights with him and after something like he disappeared. I don't know why. I'm more curious, like, if you go to the stadium big like that, and of course, like, uh, front seats, like, first rows, they're reserved for celebrities, for champions, and they're super expensive, so if you're just, like, a, a regular person, you buy seats somewhere, like, in the middle or at the end, and I'm like, how much can you see from there? from the beautiful capital city of Thailand we are in Bangkok bringing the best of the combat I'm sure you forgot that there's like a global lockdown and this is basically the big fight after lockdown Interesting. and soon we might get another lockdown because at least in Hanoi I'm in Vietnam now and we got like the second wave uh, they say it's a mix of SARS and COVID and they already postponed like the school week for the school year for one week so we'll see how it is go probably one of the best that's ever been put together but on top of it it's the first card that we've had since the quarantine and the lockdown and what a way yeah exactly what i said the first fight up since the quarantine good to be back you know there's a 150 world champions on the one championship roster and we have got nine of them in action for you tonight so the very very best of combat sports talent presenting themselves to you wherever you are in the world we've got two world titles being contested so rotang against pet dam pet morakot against yot sang Klai. Mm -hmm. oh okay so patch more i caught i actually seen him fighting i remember his face but yod san klai i've never seen him and i've never heard of, of him and the thing is with all, my, all of those thai people their names are so difficult to read and we're not just talking about the kind of left mm. kicks that mm. kill people, we're talking about the kind of left kicks yeah. that stop people. The sort of for the burp. Devastating southpaws in the game. But he's facing tonight Rod Tang, and Rod Tang brings his punching volume to the table. And once he gets moving, he's like a shark in the water. If he thinks that he has you hurt, he's like he's smelling blood, and he's coming in for the kill. That's the first of our world title contest. Yeah, he won and he's crying. This is what I like about Thai people and fighters. Exactly. This guy hits like a heavyweight. He has the kind of knockout power that can knock you out from his back foot. But when you put four ounce gloves on somebody this size, it brings a whole new meaning to power punches. Is it four ounce gloves? Do four ounce gloves exist? Do four ounce gloves exist? Four ounce gloves. He's destroying people Eight. with pressure and volume Eight. moving forward. Right. Or oh, maybe because they're kind of finger open. That's why. Oh, maybe MMA gloves. Okay, that's why. For you this evening. So let's take a look at those. We've got three Muay Thai contests. We've got two mixed martial arts bouts. And we've got a kickboxing contest for you as well. So plenty to look forward to. One of the best cards that we've No, they're just talking right now. Like introducing the champions and stuff like that. That Fabrizio and Andrade has a really horrible hairstyle. I know it's like in the colors of Brazil, like Brazilian flag, but mm -mm, it doesn't look good. The speed in his legs, but he said that in his camp he was using the speed of those legs. He's going to use his hands to help set up the speed. Of yeah, those legs the, his Sita kicks, Chai, the speed Sita is, is pretty good. Boxing skill. Sita Chai comes to the game with 
huge power shots. And what he said is he's going to use this boxing skill to set up and from the southpaw position, rear knees and rear leg kicks. You know, just referencing that conversation I had with Michael yesterday, he did say that of all... Mexican Muay Thai is kind of kickboxing, I guess. The best one of the night. But I think a little bit tougher. Pumpayak, let's go to Michael now for the tail of the tape. Um, because if his elbows, they're so sharp. It's like insane. Okay, so flyweight, 62 kilos. Okay, no throws, no grappling. Huh. So it's pure my type. Exciting global martial arts event one championship. We are live from Bangkok and broadcast to over 2.7 billion potential viewers in more than 150 countries. This is one championship, no surrender. So get ready for a night of non stop martial arts action. And now we begin with three rounds of three minutes in a one super series. Okay, only three rounds, huh? I kind of got used to UFC when they have like uh, three rounds or actually five rounds for the champions. But this is beginning, yeah, so three rounds. I will tell me Chinese brand. Okay. Representing Thailand. Thailand. Put your huh. hands together for Superleg, the kicking machine. Yeah, the kicking Mugao machine. We'll see. We'll see how well can he kick. And now, introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He is a five-time Muay Thai world champion, standing at 172 centimeters tall. Holding a Muay Thai record of 247 wins and 40 losses. <laughs> he looks a little bit shy, like he's like he feels like okay, camera is on me, so what should I do? I don't know what should I should I be tough or should I be cute? Should I smile or not? Okay, Angel Warrior. Kicking machine and Angel Warrior. Let's see who will win. Um Okay, referee in a mask. Okay. Let's uh, okay, everyone is in the masks there. Interesting except fighters. Next one will be okay, fighters in the masks and gloves and and all of those like um latex costumes. Between Pumpayak and Superlick. Pumpayak has beaten Superlick four times. I don't know what the commentators say, but I just see like kicking machine and warrior angel. To be honest, this kicking machine, he should have like the black shorts and uh, warrior angel should have like <laughs> white shorts. It looks more like angel. In southpaw stance, super leg in orthodox stance. Super leg known as the kicking machine. Okay, so some low kicks so far. Okay, so he tried the round kick. So far, they look like both of them. They do the same stuff. They look kind of equal to me. Just like exchange of some kicks. In the black trunks, a Muay Thai stylist, meaning he's a technical athlete who uses his range exceptionally well. Okay, okay. His okay. in boxing would be a Floyd Mayweather. In fact, Mayweather was an inspiration. Ooh, so far, it looks. Oh, whoa! He, he flipped. Not flipped. Tripped. Tripped. Solid start here from so is it like I don't think it's because it was slippery it was something with his footwork so probably has like a lower technique kind of shuffling technique so in this case uh, I don't know maybe the warrior uh, no that is a kicking machine right warrior angel he tripped so maybe 
But Angel, when he kicks, he's kind of, no, no, Angel. The kicking machine, when he kicks, he is kind of loses his balance. So he's not that good. I think the guy in black trunks, he is actually holding the side of the ring and I think it's kind of forbidden, but I don't know why they didn't react. It was for a short period of time, but still. Okay. Okay, low kick. That actually should hurt. These guys know each other so well, they can almost calculate exactly what's going to happen in this match. Pumpak's trying to use the kicks to keep Superlek away by mm. Superlek is trying to close that distance yeah, and let those hands go. They're kind of almost the same. Do you have games? Oh, I have some snacks here. Oh, oh, oh. I have some dried bread, sweet kind of crunchy stuff. Okay, I'll do round one. Um, if I had to give someone a round, I don't know, maybe the guy in black shorts, kicking machine, but maybe not. I think that didn't land, so... I kind of tried to punch the torso, but I didn't work. So basically, I would give it 0-0, zero, zero. but if I really have to give someone, maybe kicking machine, black shorts, black, black trunks. Putting together heavy combinations and trying to utilize more of a boxing heavy style against Pompeyak, who typically likes to kick and then clinch. Second this is a good first please. round for both these guys. Okay, hmm. round, round two. Who's here? Okay, so four kicks, uh, they work better than punches for these guys. Okay, nothing is really going on. Hmm. I think it's technically kind of grappling. Big soccer fan, football fan in his spare time. Supports Buriram United FC locally and Chelsea in the English Premier League. Maybe I will turn off the subtitles because they are kind of annoying. Because they already have this uh, board with their names and time, and it's already kind of distracting. Usually they show it only like for five to seven seconds, and now they just keep it there for all the time. It's really annoying. Winning rate in the sport of Muay Thai for Pompey Chick Wang Don, the 24 year old. 230 wins, 34 knockouts. No. Pompeyak, originally from Samut Prakam, about 30 kilometers outside of Bangkok. That's it, it was a nice contact kick. This is almost grappling. Yep, exactly. I think it's called clinching, but there is was like too much almost grappling. Whoa, that must hurt. For both of them, I mean. These guys have so much history and so they know each other so well. That was a nice way to push uh, him around. <laughs> These guys are like equally good or equally bad. I would say 
if they they're from Thailand, they already had like one million fights before they prior they went here to this match, and uh, I don't really think that they're bad. It means they're like maybe they have the same style, so they kind of look. They have the same strategy and tactics. Maybe that's why it's kind of a little bit. Maybe boring. It's like a very dry fight. Okay, one landing to the face. And the kicking machine. No, it was actually from the angel. If the kicking machine didn't land anything like that, so probably this round is for Angel. And Angel is the guy in the black trunks. I don't remember which, uh, what's his name. <laughs> this is my reality. I don't pay attention much to the names and... Because it's not really relevant or important. Maybe I should, but... Okay, so the final round for these guys for the first match of today and... Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, I don't know, but I, I kind of think that both of them look a little bit tired. Like I know it's the third round, but still. Okay, that's clinching. Too much of clinching. Come on, guys. Separate. Round kick from Pompeia, a 24 year old. Three time Sports Writers of Thailand Athlete of the Year 2013, 2014, 2015 for Pompeia. That's like winning the MVP in the NBA or winning the Ballon d'Or in soccer. He won it three times in a row. Pompeia kicked my night. I would say the guy, uh, the kicking machine, he is kind of more active in... Um, he's kind of attacking and that angel guy in black trunk, he's more of a defender so far. At least from my perspective. This is like their 38th round that they've competed against each other. I haven't had like sparring partners that I've had well, that much 38 time rounds when they, they compete each other with so each other? Well. Oh my god, that should be like really throw they're deflecting it they're just these little tiny scores that might happen and it might be happening inside the clinch because that's what we've seen a lot in their past matchups okay that wasn't that close but yeah the inner part of the thigh could be like very sensitive and you know when they watch football and anything even a little bit like this will happen like they kick the knee or something the ball will touch the ass and they're like rolling the floor like oh no it hit me like my poor balls I would never be able to walk again and here is like okay I just like, checked everything is fine let's continue when Jonsson Klai starts to wind up his round kicks, when Rod Tung starts to attack the body in four outs class. The red uh, armband actually looks a little bit like blood when you don't pay much attention. It, and when they move too fast and you're like, oh no, there is blood, but how? For a combination, as Super League went high with the kick. We are going to go down to the judges yet again. I like the outfit of the kicking machine. Like yellow bands and stuff like that. So, pff, I have no idea who won in this round because they were so equal. So, if there is like a difference in the score, it could be, I would say, only one point. And 
no yeah, one ever should actually. They should have like both be champions or something. On, they both like, kind of win this fight. Kick, that clinch where they just got nice and tight. You know, if they can see a little bit of a stumble there from Pompeii, didn't really score, but just constant back and forth action, ever so close. I think it's gonna you know, come down to that third and final round exactly who did more work inside that clinch and was just more active. Folks, once again, I don't know, both of them were active, so it's really difficult to say, oh, this guy was better, oh no, this guy was better. Okay, and who is the winner? Between the two, let's go to Tom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner from the blue corner, Super Lack. Okay, so it's the kicking machine. Congratulations to the kicking machine. Superlek has pegged one back. Four wins for Pompeiac, two wins for Superlek. That's how you kick off no surrender. When we come back, we'll move over to mixed martial But both of them, they were good. Andrade of Brazil against the Kiwi Filipino Mark Fertex Abelardo. Oh, he's from Philippines? I thought he was from Brazil. Maybe I got confused. Okay, let's see uh, once again. No surrender. Igor Warriors. Okay. I'm Edward Pulaya from yeah, it is uh, MMA. City, Philippines. But uh, I trace my roots in Sadanga Mountain Province. The people there are known for their aggressiveness as hunters. They are fierce hunters in the jungle. I am proud on my Igorot heritage. It is the tribe in the northern part of the Philippines that is unconquered. I came from the Ifugao tribe. Ifugao, they are all Igorots. Ifugaos are full of uh, traditions and cultures. Uh, just like the other uh, tribes, the Ifugaos are one of the bravest. I would say in the Philippines, tribe. probably the weather is as bad as in uh, Vietnam. Like, I mean, so hot. So I'm not surprised by their costumes. I'm proud to be one of the ones. Uh, representatives of the Igorot tribe. A turning back kick to the liver! That was awesome! I am living here in Green Valley, Baguio City, part of Benguet. I'm 100% proud, Igorot. Igorot are people of the mountains. Yeah, so the That's way, right. like when There's you watch no <laughs> 1FC, uh, one you're not only watching so fights, but you're actually learning something about the cultures. We Igorot warriors are loyals. Wala kaming kinakatakutan, wala kaming inaatrasan. Buo ang loob namin sa pagipaglaban. Hindi pa rin naalis ang warrior spirit. Buhay na buhay pa rin hanggang ngayon. The winner's medal goes to Baguio City around the neck of the king, Danny Kingan. We'll see, we'll see. What would they show us? What would they deliver actually to us? championship no surrender we are live for you from bangkok let's take a look at our main event it's the flyweight white tie championship da, 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 da. show me show me who's going to fight show me the people and who who do do scopes do soaps okay <laughs> sorry i'm so bad with reading names okay so yeah main event the rot tongue that's very good but you have to wait until rot tongue would actually show up Okay, explosive. <laughs> yeah, blah blah blah. Well, I don't want to see people talking about Rotang. I know that he is awesome, like he is the champion, he is defeating his belt. So I just want to see him fight, or I want to see another fight or something. Powerful oh, left kick. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so I would say, <laughs> actually, <laughs> it's okay. 
So, do you watch uh, 1FC often, or you prefer UFC, or you usually don't watch any of the fights? Like, uh, I usually what I used to watch UFC, but to be honest, all of the fun, like I lost the fun when the Reebok, uh, they took the, they became monopolists and they made everyone wear their shorts and trunks and it was like, it became so boring. So champions couldn't really express themselves and it was kind of a turnout. It's Spanish, okay, let, let me see. The Cassipus. The Cassipus. Is it correct or not? <laughs> the, so, C. Uh, I think it's supposed to be pronounced as, as like K. K. Or, okay, yeah. Fab Fabrizio Andrade. So. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if he still has this, um, in my opinion, very ugly hairstyle, and I hope he will change it. Born in New Zealand to Filipino parents, one Warrior Series Ooh. winner Mark Fairtex Abelardo. New Zealand grew up in Filipino. Dojo Interesting. And began training karate when he was 10 years old. How oh, so cute! <laughs> you can really see how young he was. And made his professional like, debut in the cage. some people when they're like 15 or 14 they already look adult especially when they fight and you could see he's like he was like a true kind of very young teenager so so okay yep i've never learned spanish so spanish is really difficult for me so i'm russian and at school i learned english and german but my german sucks obviously okay not obviously but it sucks and later moved to china China, so a little bit of Chinese and now Vietnam, zero Vietnamese, but I'm kind of uh, okay with the... I can read Vietnamese names, this is what I can, but Spanish it was like always something from another reality for me. So have you had your dinner or, I don't know, drinks or anything? For me it is Hanoi beer. I guess uh, I would say it's my favorite beer. The, it's the best beer in the world I've ever tried. It is um, how much it is? I think it's 4.7. Oh, let me see. Okay, I better take the empty can to check it out. Otherwise, I'll spill it all around. Don't see it. Oh, yeah, it's 4.6 actually. Ho oh, ho, 4.6. Oh, Despacito. <laughs> okay, Despacito. I, I know the song, but uh, luckily for you, I'm terrible. I'm a terrible singer, so I can't sing anything. Like even my national anthem is a big, big struggle for me. Okay. Uh, so this guy, he has like, I don't know, maybe he's an amazing fighter, maybe he's an amazing person and he sounds really nice, but his hairstyle is like that pot hairstyle on the top. And it's like colored, oh, it's not that nice. At least not for my taste. <laughs> I've actually watched a really nice clip, a uh, video clip. It's like Despacito, but they remade it like for Speedo. Like, uh, I love Speedo. Speedos are uh, like, they're amazing. I wear Speedos everywhere. And it was like really fun. Like at some point of my life I watched it like almost every day that speedo movie. Okay, so 28, 22, 65, 72. Okay, I didn't... Okay, I have to watch on the other screen to see their uh, reach. But they actually don't say reach. Okay, so this is the difference, the catch weight 67 kilos. Because in UFC they show the reach, so you can really see like uh, the advantage, who should stay further, who should stay closer. And here they just show the age and height and basic nationality. That's, I also think it's kind of important, at least for me.
champion standing at 172 is like two centimeters higher than me taller boxing record of 28 wins and only one loss but it's funny because like even people of the same height uh some of them they have like longer legs and uh, shorter torso like me for example and some other people they have uh, shorter legs longer torso and also the arms the reach could be different so it's oh yes super tight shorts like up to more tight they're like almost speedos because he is so muscular. Of 19 wins and seven losses. Okay, who, who, who? Okay, fair tax gem. That's actually nice when you can represent two countries because, like, uh, what's that girl? She's Russian, but she is from Peru. Like her passport is uh, Peru, and, and she always represents Peru, even though she's Russian. And here is like, okay, double representation. Can I get one more? Okay, so they have seven centimeters difference, and plus, actually, both of them have a little bit high haircuts, hairstyle. The powerfully built Mark Fairtex I would say because it's MMA, so the Brazilian will probably try to grapple. Uh, like tr maybe it will try Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Oh, so far, he looks like very stiff. <laughs> I think like this like Filipina New Zealand guy uh, looks kind of better. <laughs> but to be honest, both of them they look like me, super scared. So I, I kind of difficult to say just the beginning. Okay, so they're just testing each other. But definitely that uh, Brazilian guy has a longer legs, so it will be easier for him and safer to keep the distance. And uh, for uh, Bellardo, he needs to come closer because, first of all, he's shorter and uh, yeah, all of his limbs are shorter. So he needs to keep... Okay, nice grapple from like the grapple of the foot, but still no damage. It doesn't count as a point or a score or anything. Okay, he tried to kick, but actually it was. Oh yeah, his balance is not good, so it's kind of. I think it could count as a takedown. Ага, все понимаю. Хорошо, кропчик. Вес это у них до 67 килограмм. Значит, у нас бразилец 172 сантиметра и филиппинец, который из Новой Зеландии, 165. Только что началось и пока что вот филиппинец ведет себя лучше. Но посмотрим, что там, как у них там. Они как-то пока что это ничего не делают. Просто притираются друг к дружке. А? Ну, ну что, Бразиль, э, это филиппинец молодец, понимает, что ему нужно дистанцию сокращать, что ему на длинный не вариант. Но бразильянец, он-то тоже ничего не делает. Он и не атакует, и сейчас тоже не сопротивляется, никакого отпора не дает. И этот у нас ММА сейчас э, не мой тай, поэтому им тут можно... Короче, броски делать и обниматься, обжиматься, все что угодно. Окей, фронт кик. Ну да, они стоят так, не, не то не все, потому что хилечки, видимо, после короны, им как бы нечего было. И вообще, как мне кажется, как они организуют эти матчи, когда вот иностранцев приглашают, вот э, этот э, матч проходит в Таиланде, и, естественно, у них тут будет большинство тайских борцов, а приглашают они всех желающих, да, вот иностранцев, пригласили этого чувака, а, Андраде, 
Но, походу, он был хилячок, и ему выбрали тоже какого-нибудь хилячка. Хотя это тоже... А, я знаю. Потому что он новозеландец, а в Новой Зеландии они особо не воюют. У них там им не с кем тренироваться, поэтому... I think both of them are kind of stiff because uh, first, like, most of the Brazilians, they are not good at stand-up, and I don't know, this guy is weird. He doesn't even try to do take takedowns and grappling or Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And another guy, he's like from New Zealand, Filipino, so probably New Zealand has nothing to train with, so that's why he's kind of on the low level. Ну, короче, да, пока как-то скучновато они двигаются. Первый бой тоже был не очень. Там было два тайца, но они вместе... Это у них, по-моему, был 46-й или 48-й спарринг. И они были так себе... Они друг дружку знают уже все. Они были абсолютно одинаковые. Okay, kind of a takedown, but no, not that good. Ну, пока что им можно дать как бы... Один-один, потому что было два, как бы, две попытки на тейкдаун э, с, с обеих сторон, но чуть пока как-то не очень. Как жизнь, кропчик. У нас тут, короче, вторая волна. Коронавирус с Сарсом соединился и, ну как, он у нас все время походу был, но э, лет, лето началось, каникулы начались и все, короче, съехались в один приморский город Дананг и там сейчас новые случаи распространились. Сейчас уже, по-моему, 50 случаев, один из Ханой и вот, э, сегодня сколько еще, 17 в, в, в Сайгоне, в Хашимин Сити, в городе Хашимин и Одна смерть. Первая смерть вообще за время всего коронавируса у нас. У того чувачка у него было куча еще своих болезней. Поэтому как бы особо на это смотреть не стоит. Но у нас вот уже школу на неделю отодвинули. То есть у нас еще неделя каникул. Но они, блин, неоплачиваемые. Поэтому от них ни жарко, ни холодно. Даже скорее холодно, чем жарко. Прикол в том, что первая рефери, которая... Водичка. Кошка пришла. Мини-мини Бердини. О, чё, что у нас тут? О, чокейн. Интересно, бразилец, короче, его уложил на землю и удушающий при, при, прием привел. Okay, congratulations to the Andrade. I think I pronounced his name correctly. I didn't expect this at all. Oh. Короче, он ему рассек бровь. Ну, так... Не ожидала этого, ну. Молодцы. Значит, как говорят, тише едешь, дальше будешь. Looks like, uh, what was that? The turtle and the hare. So this Brazilian guy was definitely an underdog. At least uh, for me, I didn't think about him at all. So congratulations, but I still think his haircut is super ugly. He needs to change it. Just like shave completely, probably. <laughs> uh, that Filipino New Zealander is not happy at all. Well, what to do? Что делать? Что делать? Такова судьба. Селови. So it's the second time in a row. Blue corner. Ну это тоже совсем что на колени падать. Зачем? I don't really understand this, like, this is maybe the first Brazilian that I've seen who stood on his knees in front of the opponent. Oh my god, and Brazilian women, I have nothing against them, but Brazilian female fighters, 
they're all on the steroids and they look so manly and so I'm sorry for this but they look kind of disgusting and because there's like nothing left of women in them so I'm kind of like I don't like watching them fighting and I always cheer for anyone else who looks more like feminine Okay, stamp, 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 stamp. I hope she's going to dance. Я надеюсь, что она у нас сегодня это будет танцевать перед своим выходом, потому что необычные веселые выходы. Ну что, опять эти маори бойцы? Игород Warriors. Ну, хорошо, вы нам уже рассказали про этих бойцов и игородов из Филиппин. Ну, они нам это уже показали. Вот реально все то же самое, картинку в картинку. They really showed us this stuff like exactly like picture to picture, second to second, the same narration, the same videos. So it's kind of Cheers. This is the only thing I can say. Че тут интернет подвисает, а ну-ка, опять давайте обновим. Может что-нибудь тут уже улучшится? Вот знаете, что меня удивляет? То, что народ с такой малочисленной национальностью, они вот гордятся да, там, своими традициями, народными костюмами, вот сейчас тут все показывают, да? А мы вот что... Допустим, русские. А мы разве гордимся вот так своей культурой? Нет. Мы уходим там в своих кокошниках или в традиционных рубахах там. Нет. Почему? Вот почему русские такие? Почему мы стараемся все время абстрагироваться? Я вот думаю всегда про себя, когда вот я куда-то ездила, ну, за границу, да, там, в какую-нибудь поездку, я все время старалась, мне хотелось, чтобы меня принимали за кого-то другого, не за русского не за русского. И я до сих пор не понимаю, почему. Я должна вообще гордиться собой. Я должна гордиться тем, что... Не знаю, у меня такая большая страна, богатая культура, э, наука тоже на хорошем уровне. Ну, не знаю, все, ну, все у нас есть. Есть все возможности для того, чтобы гордиться чем-то, но почему-то у нас как то В крайней мере, я, ну, тяжело мне. Как бы... Не знаю почему. Это чисто из-за того, что денег как бы мало в нашей стране. Но с другой стороны, Филиппины, у них тоже, блин, денег нет. Они бедная страна. Ничего не понимаю, почему с ним так. So I haven't noticed that all of those like uh, small nations with the culture, whatever they get on TV, they try to promote their culture. They they're proud of their culture and they speak about themselves so proudly. And I don't know, but like as a Russian, any time I went abroad and still when I go abroad, I don't want to be recognized as Russian, as a Russian. Maybe because I'm kind of ashamed of the stereotypes that people have about Russia. But to be honest, I, ha I need, I need, and I have to be proud of my country and of my culture. Oh, someone has subscribed. Uh, okay. Uh, M Bay 437 Hey Emre Bay. So I'm just uh, watching this like oh sorry uh, 1FC introductions and here like stuff about the those Filipinos from small tribes they're super proud of their background and stuff I'm from Russia and I was kind of wondering so but I live in Vietnam now so why can't I be proud of my country? There are like so many Nobel Prize uh, guys in my country and the literature is amazing. There are so many artists and sportsmen. And still, every time I go abroad, I try to hide my identity, my national identity. And I'm very happy when someone thinks that I'm someone else, like not from the USSR. 
And I think it's embarrassing and it's really horrible. It shouldn't be like, oh, Turkey, congratulations. Hi. I actually like Turkey. <laughs> One of my, I would say, best vacations ever was in Turkey. Except like that, the, you know, like in Istanbul, there is one um, part, uh, it's like a, not far from the, um, what is it called, uh, famous mosque, uh, like Hagia Sophia, that there is, uh, that area, I don't know, the, the old, maybe, Bebek, I'm not sure about the name, so basically there is like one super famous uh, mosque and there is also a museum when you can go like underground and you can see some columns there kind of a, there is also the head of medusa there and there was like a shop with turkish delights i went there and i saw the prices and it was like fine uh, i wanted to buy some stuff and after some locals they had to bargain for me and the price dropped twice i was like what oh yeah yeah Tak taksim yeah somewhere around taksim so I was like, what's going on? If like there are no Turkish people around me, I will have to pay like twice of the price and it's the shop. I, I usually like, I have a, an idea that in the shops, uh, prices are fixed and at the markets you can bargain, but it seems like not a tur Turkey. I also been to Marmaris and oh my God, that was uh, so beautiful there. So what part of Turkey are you from? Sunisa, yeah, of course I did uh, eat Turkish food. It's it's amazing. And also, I used to work like in Egypt for a couple of months, and just also traveled in Egypt. So I really like kind of Middle Eastern and Turkish food. I think my most favorite stuff it was. It was kind of a clay port and they had to crash it and I don't remember what was inside, maybe kind of a big, there was like a, one big fluffy bread and there was a clay port and they crushed it in front of me so it was like really good. Maybe there was kind of a stew inside, I, I don't remember much. Was met with disapproval from her family. Yeah, so what part of uh, Turkey are you from? So I guess that right now there will be a fight with the stamp, like female fight, uh, fighters. Impressive debut performance with two more dominant showings. The victories eventually won her parents over. Yeah, Marmara is they have good one. Oh, Istanbul. Tonight. Once I got uh, lost in Istanbul, oh my god, it was <laughs> really funny. Like, uh, I knew where like my house was, and I went out to the market to buy some food, and I, was, I just bought some stuff, and on the way home I got lost, and I was like, oh, where should I go? I don't know, I, I, I truly didn't know, and it was a super local place, so I asked some people, but they couldn't really help me, and it was at that time when mobile internet wasn't that popular so it was kind of uh, extremely expensive to use it and i think i didn't have a turkish sim card so it was like not an option for me to use the internet uh no sorry i don't know any turkish actors are you one of them if yes i'm so glad to meet you <laughs> No, to be honest, like some Turkish singers, I've heard their songs, but uh, actors have no idea. Okay, fair attacks. So, like, she has almost the same, maybe even the same um, shorts as a uh, Filipino guy from New Zealand, like the previous fight had. And I would say this, both of the girls, they're kind of stocky, muscular, interesting. But they still look feminine, I like it. <laughs> so how about Tarkan? Is he Turkish? I think he is. He was uh, pretty popular in Russia, maybe like... 
eight years ago or seven years ago. Holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record. And a lot of girls thought that he was super handsome. Training out of Fair Tex Gym. Representing Thailand. Thailand. Who is them? Fair Tex. Fair for you. Oh my god, she is so cute. I really like her. <laughs> oh yeah, that can make a star. He's an international celebrity, yep. He's like Ricky Martin. Turkish Ricky Martin. Okay, follow rules at all times. Listen out my instructions. If I say stop, you must stop. Okay? Do you want to touch gloves? Touch gloves now. I don't know, I got so kind of messed up in my head because in Vietnam, uh, I don't know, you have to ride a bike all the time and one of the mandatory things is, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm watching the fight actually, so you have to wear a helmet and I was like, oh, where are their helmets, are they idiots, and I'm just got to go yeah, I'm going to watch uh, the fight, that's why I'm kind of watching it. <laughs> Okay, so a couple of low kicks from a stamp, pretty good. The stamp even give her time to settle here. Looping punches early on from Is she also tired? I kind of uh, missed it out. Okay, so I'm going to Google where is Cerise and from. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can write me any actor that is good or maybe a Turkish movie so that I have to check. So, yeah, so both of them are Thai. Uh. Okay, stamp, stamp, stamp. Okay, some exchange of knees to the belly, to the torso. Wow, stamp did like three knees in a row to those. Yeah, yeah, you can name an actor. I would be really ha like uh, happy and interested to watch something. Also, like I would say, if you can name any classical movie, Turkish movie, maybe not like I don't know the one that everyone likes of all generations. I would uh, check it on YouTube and maybe some other resources, maybe even some torrent trackers. That's a bad angle from the threshold. I kind of missed out, uh, maybe if anyone can uh, say uh, what? Karen Bursin, Murat. Okay, the the names. How about like the name of the movie, the title of the movie that I should watch, like the Universal that everyone loves. For example, from Russian cinematography, or I would could say even USSR cinematography. One of the movies that I really love and I watch a lot is uh, Divchata or Girls. I I will um, type it here, actually. It's from 1960s. 1960s. And God, this language is... So, that is the movie that... I think the Russian classics, it represents the Russian culture. It's like winter time and uh, the time when people, young people were sent to, to Siberia to build, uh, yeah, to build like the roads and the cities. Uh, so I think it's like beautiful. <laughs> Now you can write me the the name of the of the movie, so we'll check it out. Stamp cut in the back. She's gonna take the back. All she's gotta do is get that head off, and she might be able to pound her out. 
So, I guess they're doing MMA because uh, they can grapple and sit on each other, so it's definitely not Muay Thai. I don't know why did he break it. That's it? I kind of don't understand, like, if, if this is the end of the... Of the Round in the match, it's a kind of. I don't think that it should be like that. I'm kind of confused because the girl, yeah, she was taking those punches, but uh, I think she she could take a little bit more, or she could try to do something. Oh, Russian friend. Yeah, she she was yeah she was not protecting yeah, actually, that's true. So where is your friend from? Like I'm from the southern part of Russia, Krasnodar. It's kind of uh, <laughs> not far from Turkey and Black Sea. It's like only two hours uh, with Pegasus Airlines. It's a pretty cheap flight. Corner. Yay! Stamp has won! Congratulations! But to be honest, another girl is kind of sweet too, but I don't understand her choice of hair accessories because she had like so plastic tiny crabs over her head and uh, I would say if you hit the head, they should hurt. Because Anytime I have those and I wear a helmet, it's kind of evenly, uh, the pressure is even, it still hurts. And she wore them to the fight? That's, that's insane. Oh, her name is Jana. And you don't know her city? Okay. <laughs> Because yeah. you know Russia is uh, so big, so like even uh, the taste uh, in food or I don't know, like weather and the, the way how people speak there is so different because just like a big country. Okay, let's see, let's see what. Oh no, I don't want to see any more. Shots about those like warriors. There are dreams, and there are dreamers. Oh, my rank is horrible. I'm grown. It's just like the lowest of the lowest. Basically, I, I just recently got qualified for rank, and um, nah, whatever I play is. Um, I play only the source of your yeah courage. only two champions in rank because I'll, without the the rest I'm so bad. So there's Swain and uh, Soraka. So who is your best uh, support champion? And actually, uh, one minute I'll quickly run to the bathroom because it's my I think second or third kind of beer. And uh, before the fights begun, <laughs> I have to go. So I'll be back like in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Uh, no, tell us. Amber versus. Ha ha ha, yeah, uh, we can play actually. Because. Uh, oh, but you know what? I'm playing on Vietnamese servers, so it could be a problem. Because, uh, like, when I try to play for. Um, what, what, what's that? The official, whatever, server, uh, the ping is too low and the, the delay is too low, unfortunately. Yep, 
So I haven't uh, installed the official client, so I have to use uh, the Vietnamese one. But uh, is Nautilus a support guy? I kind of don't think that Nautilus is a support guy. This, I, I don't care what they're doing. Okay. So let's see. Tillos. Well, Rich and I certainly echo that guide. To help workers right around the world. We are in Bangkok, Thailand. This is one championship. Okay. Thank you for following me. Tillos. Okay. Let's see. division. Not Tillis is very bulky, and I think he can grab you, right? So you can have have kind of an arm to pull in the guys. My mortal Not Tillis build. So do they have anything? Okay. Let's take this one. Superball. Oh, is it now Sini Chai? Okay, interesting. Sini Chai to Chai. But an introduction to his childhood idol and Muay Thai superstar at an event in Australia changed his fortunes. Okay, okay, I'll follow you back. No worries. I will follow you even now. Okay. Oh, let's go to Instagram. In 2015, What's going on here? Whoa, I got from just some face kind of group lies and stuff. Da 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 da. When I can learn kickboxing from me, I can learn techniques from me. I can learn from you. Making his one championship debut tonight, Super Bond takes on a familiar foe. Representing Thailand, Siti Chai Sit Song Pinong! Siti Chai stepped into the ring at 10 years old to compete at a village trial, and although he lost, he developed a taste for competition. Okay, uh, so I've got uh, some. Kind of, I'm a teacher, so we got in a discussion thread with uh, some teachers, like in Russia. Not teachers, but like teaching reforms and stuff like that. So they basically, uh, one woman said, okay, uh, because there have so many people, they have uh, students, they have to go to school in different times uh, and uh, have different schedules, blah blah blah. And she said, okay, according to the law. Uh, for every subject, like if it's history or math or like uh, Russian or literature, so students have to have to be divided into groups of twelve. And I was like, whoa, groups of twelve? It's like too tiny because even when I was at school, it was like a full class. We will attend like all of the subjects. Maybe when it was languages, uh, like German or English or French, we yeah, will be divided into three groups. But otherwise, it will be always like one full class attending the subject. And she says, oh, actually, according to Russian laws, there should be no more than 12 people in one class. And to be honest, I didn't know that. And it's probably bullshit. No one would have followed it. So I kind of don't see you in my Instagram feed. So where can I see it? Uh, yeah, followers. Okay, now I see you. Okay, so I will click follow back. Done. Oh, where? Yep, so done. I requested the following back. Oh, someone else has actually followed me. I thought it was like someone useful and nice and it's like, oh, I'm the psychologist, the tarot specialist, online uh, consulting, blah, blah, blah. And to be honest, I don't like it. Okay, 7477, Sini Chai Superborn. Okay, Muay Thai, hoo, hoo, hoo. And both are from Thailand. So we're going to see who's going to do Mission Impossible. Okay, yeah, I followed you back too. 
next match is three rounds of three minutes in a one super series featherweight Let's see the new can I hope I wouldn't actually fall asleep in the live stream <laughs> I've actually seen some live streamers who like fall asleep and they're like sleeping for a very long time and they've been woken up by the donations like I don't remember it was like one thousand dollars donations and the guy he just one guy he opened the eye and he was like oh thank you and he fell asleep and another guy he woke up immediately and he was just like jumping around screaming like yes 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 thank you thank you Okay, Superborn. Superborn is not his real name. Yep. His opponent out of the red corner. He is an 11 time kickboxing and Muay Thai world champion. Sinichai. Killer Kid. Interesting. Holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 123 wins and 31 losses. Training out of Sitsong Pinong Muay Thai. There are names that are so long and so difficult to pronounce. That is like truly like how's it possible? I like like here they have their own shorts for their names with whatever brands they want with the, any picture they like. It's nice, but he needs to shape his armpits. And here again, the next fight and the referee has uh, the face mask. Oh, my phone is only for me, but if you want, I can give you a little rubber band. There was my tiny cat there. Oh, only four hours? Why? I need to sleep at least, like, for eight hours. Okay, seven is minimum, eight is, like, normal. And if I don't have to work or there's like no plans, 12 hours and I feel so. And I could sleep even more to be honest. I guess like uh, maybe... I, okay, I haven't checked your Instagram profile yet, but from the front photo I would say maybe clubbing. Because you look well groomed. Good round kicks here from City like you pay a lot of attention to your hair star. and your looks and super bonger round kick off the right super leg in orthodox stats but it's not his real and i like super bond should be something else unless he changes his right last 10 fights yeah. that was in 2017 <laughs> is it possible for someone to get knocked out by the smell? Because you know when they fight they like of course they sweat a lot and before the fight they need to warm up so they need to kind of uh, sweat. If they come like dry to the ring it's not good because everything would land every like everything would look bad and uh, if you come sweaty and oily everything would like kind of slide off, slide off. Oh, Turkish festival. Interesting. So what kind of festival? Like, have you come after the festival or you're preparing to go to a festival? Are those like leather shorts? <laughs> At least they'll look like. Maybe it's like satin, but they'll look like leather. Like BDSM shorts. Actually, both of them have the same fabrics. Yeah, nothing clean landed yet, Michael, but these guys know each other very well. There's been so much talk about this rubber mask. I would say these guys, they have very similar bodies, like I look at their uh, leg muscles, thigh muscles, they look... There are like, oh, there's so many guys that are fighting for the chance to take on uh, possibly Petrosa. Oh yeah, his uh, left foot uh, is the uh, front of his south ball. Oh, right foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Though that said, it was a counter hook from Sinichai that KO'd Superbon when they competed for the first time. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> that was really cool. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm a little bit sweet sometimes when I'm not uh, naughty. Okay, end of the round. Who? Uh, I don't know who actually 
who actually to give this round to? Because both of them, they were like good, evenly good, to be honest. Because it was like, yeah, one landed to the face and another one landed to the face. It's kind of same, truly, truly even. Exactly, it's finally contested. That, that's real. Let's see. My cat is still here. She's like lying behind the computer. Little ass. Cats? Does anyone want to come to me? Round two. I think I need to have like a sp again referee with a mask. I think I need to have like a special uh, voice to be the announcer of these matches and rounds. Otherwise, you will not be qualified. Oh, I can't make that sound at the moment. Okay. But now it's all about that first important win together in one super series. Their first match together, I should say, here in one. I would say Sinichai, he's kind of more active with his feet now at the moment, legs. So he kind of looks more aware and like prepared. Whoa, but that was a nice kick from a Superborn. Was very powerful. I did not expect that at all. Okay, so Emmer Bay left us. It's okay. Oh, okay, it's kickboxing, so no elbows. That's interesting. I thought it was Muay Thai that uh, you're allowed to use elbows. Interesting. Yeah, okay, 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 no grappling, no... I call it clinching. Yeah, no clinching. I'm seeing the speed advantage from Super Bomb, but the power you can just see when Sidichai lands with something, he lands with a little bit more emphasis. He kind of moves Super Bomb a little bit, and that's that power, which is why he was able to get that big knockout in their first meeting. Okay, I don't think it was the only reason why did he managed to do the knockout, but uh, still. There's something with my internet, it's kind of weird. Okay, oh. I don't know, but so far they have 20 seconds left. Uh, I would give this one to Superborn, yep. Even before this, uh, Sinichai kind of uh, fell on the floor. It's difficult to even think who was like the first one. Oh yeah, Turkish actor. But maybe after the match when they will be like uh, in between. Yeah, we can uh, check some Turkish actors for sure. I would say second round is for Superboy and uh, first one let's go for Sinichai to... I'm not sure because for the first one I would give them evenly so I'd say 1-1 one, one, probably because she, he's the champion so if they're even so we should go in the favor of the champion I guess so I give them 1-1 one, one. Oh wait, he's not a champion. Throat Tang is a champion. I, I got confused. Typical. So what we're seeing now is we're starting to see a little bit more mobile. Got a little bit confused. Who has him? I think it might come down to the third and final round here. 
Okay, round three. I guess because they're not like uh, belt holders, it's the final round. Both men wind up roundhouse kicks. It was Superbot who drew the short straw on that exchange. Double round off the back leg there from Superbot. Sidichai, leaping hook off the lead hand out of that southpaw start. Went to transition into the grapple, couldn't quite lock it on to launch the left knee though. Goes the inside leg, now goes higher. Nice tip kick to the midsection there from Sidichai. Oh, both men are launching the heavy artillery with the legs here in the third. Uh, how many minutes? Basically, like two and a half minutes left for this fight. And after they'll basically probably have like two to three minutes break until the next fight. Because now it's like uh, not champion, uh, not like belt fight, so there are only three rounds. And I kind of, to be honest, I'm not sure about 1FC for the belt fight if they have three or five rounds. I would say maybe probably five rounds. I would say two minutes and we'll have like a short break. But I think like last time I've seen Sinichai, he was in UFC maybe, and there he fought for the belt. If I am not confused, no, never. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, okay. But has he ever got a belt? Has uh, Simichai ever got a belt? It's a very close match. They're just constantly going back and forth. It's kind of just whoever lands on the last part of the exchange. Oh, he's definitely more famous. I don't know, second round was for Superborn, definitely, so it's kind of... The first one was even, but as he's kind of... I don't know, maybe they'll give it to Sinichai, but second was definitely Superborn. Now, I guess, so far, they're even. The fans spent a lot of time analyzing this one and... Well, it looks like we are 40 seconds away from a kill. Okay, left to and Sinicha is the south ball. Okay, Cross right ball foot. Short for front. Super Bond leads in um, right round. Super Bond is uh, Will Super Bond get regular pull? <laughs> I think it's called regular pull. Is it pull North Pull? But regular or whatever. Hmm. Okay, so uh, we have only a few seconds left, so let's see what Turkish actors did you say? Did you name there? There was. Um, let's see. Kerem Bursin. Okay, the fight is over. Let's. Uh, well, the thinking to who to announce. There are no draws in one super series. We must have a winner. As we see some of the exchanges from the final beach. That's what's up with the internet. Today is like super slow. Just like I want to kill someone. I heard someone was like drilling today in the walls. Maybe they destroyed and damaged the, uh, the cable. I agree, it would have been nice to see a fiver between these okay, two. Okay, so we'll just the wait. Night, really. It's a trilogy match. Look at that, that nice right hand getting over the top of the guard of Sinichai. Wait, just wait. And here's the left. I don't like right that at between all. the eyes of the 12-time world champion Sinichai. It's a searching okay, here. Who, 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 who? I guess, um, Sinichai I don't know. Superborn in the trilogy match. Who, Sinichai Superborn. Gentlemen, this match was presented Superbond to is ready. by Neurofan. Sinichai is very modest. From the blue corner, the third time in a row, Superborn. I mean, the third time in a row, blue corner. Congratulations. Okay, so we have like two minutes uh, here. There is some loading and uh, another bathroom run, really fast one. Well, it is. Loading with Kerem uh, Bursi.
Sports Superbon has won a unanimous decision over Sinachai. If you've come this far, you've got to stay with us because the main event, the flyweight Muay Thai World Championship is coming up. But before that, our co-main event in the featherweight division, Muay Thai, Pet Monocon, Yotsuglai. Every day is a battle. Some battles are great. Meow. Hello, Marmel. Wow. Say hello. But each morning. But you say hello, Pushin? You don't want to say hello. But you might do so. Oh, my little cat is here. Okay. Ooh. Hey, it Push looks. Forward, despite the obstacles. It looks handsome. Today, Push and dotion. Yeah, my little ass. It threatens to overwhelm us. To Just look us. at him. He is like covering the microphone and the camera with his little ass. My favorite cat. Here, let's stop. Okay, cat and Bursin. Hello, Mini Dunya. There's my other cat there. Oh, 87. Okay, 4th of June. Istanbul. Yeah, you can sit here, Pushin. You can sit here. Okay, okay, Mardush. Cat press stuff on the keyboard. Okay, actor, model, producers, 2006 till present. Mm -hmm. Pen, don't press anything. Okay, I'm sorry, my cat is pressing stuff on the keyboard. But his little ass. My little dosha, my love of my life. My little cat. Push up, push up, push up, push up. Push, 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 I actually have two cats and this is my big cat, the first cat. He's from China, so adopted him in China and brought to Vietnam. He's, his name is Pao Pao. He's very cute. Really cute girlfriend. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Ooh, another cat. Hello, Murdasha. Hello, Murduka. Oh, okay. where are you go? Where are you go? Oh, she left. Oops. Murduka, come to us. Okay, so the tiny cat has left me. She doesn't want to stay with me. It's uh, still nothing. So let's keep watching Karam. Okay, Sarane Sarikaya. He's dating her. Okay, Murat Ceylan. Murat is actually sounds like one of the Russian names. Like Muslim Russian names. Who? Murat. It's the name Se. I would say if I've ever saw this guy, like I would never say that 
he is Turkish because most of the Turkish men they have like dark hair and seems like these two guys they're naturally having like lighter hair Arena the internet is horrible. Bangkok, and Stop. now we come to the real heart of the show. You guys have really been enjoying this. Stop it here, come on, guys. All about it on. Yep, exactly. So here, move it out. See that? Push up, push up, push up. My cat is truly lying here. Luckily for him, I'm not playing now. Okay, so I don't know what's going on. Because my cat is probably pressing all of the buttons again with his weight, with his little ass. So I'm confused of what's going on. What is going on, Kasula? His tail is going like up and down. He's a little bit crazy. Poopin! <laughs> don't claw me and don't claw my boobs, come on! Little Chopin is bored, he wants to play. Oh, to be honest, I would never point this guy as a Turkish guy. Even if someone told me, like, if you told me, okay, I'm from Turkey, I would never believe. Just because, like, the stereotypical Tur Turkish guy has, like, dark hair, really dark eyes, like, long eyelashes, beautiful eyelashes, so... And this guy, he doesn't look Russian, he looks... I don't know. What does he look like? Maybe it's like true Turkey, but uh, it's not definitely not what I've seen at the seaside. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the. Still nothing? The fight? Or is it online? Just a. Yeah. Thriller says, can't wait for the. Okay, so nothing. And, uh. Yeah. Okay, let's. At least there is like a nice song here. I'm curious where did they film? Is it Turkey where they filmed or not? The building doesn't look like anything I've seen in Turkey. Our roads look like US roads. If it's a Mustang, probably it's yeah, somewhere. What country does he look like? What country does he look like? Like where could he be? for me to picture this guy but I would say for some weird reason weird, weird reason I would say Switzerland or maybe even Austria but... <laughs> white body black body The description. Oh, well, the fight has begun. Back to the fight. Come on, stop this one. And back to the fight. Okay, I see. Just because I paused here the live stream, it kind of uh, went. Paused uh, that point where I paused. Thailand! Okay. 
Poopen. You going to take all of the space, the whole webcam? Really? Okay, enjoy my little cat. Uh, okay, here's a big, big little cat called Pow Pow. Who's sniffing the microphone? My cat, kitty cat. Can can it be uh, lie a little bit lower cushion? And you know, he, every time you like bring a phone to camera, he's like, "Oh no, don't shoot me!" He runs away, and now like, who is sitting just in front of the camera? He's like, exactly, Pao Pao. I know what, what he wants attention. Yeah, cat webcam. This is cat stream. Streak, winning 32 matches. see the fight. Okay, pink shorts. Interesting. The champion. Okay, it's more like that. You are some cry. I haven't heard of any of these guys. Oh no, but I've seen that it's more like a cop. I've seen the fighting before, yeah, the green cops. I think the last time I've seen him, he won. Yeah, he has a win. In the last five, have been by knockout for Pit Morricot. Comes in off a hat trick of wins. Cat, you have to kind of go lower position. Charlie Peters who he knocked out with the knee. You truly have to go lower. Katusha. How about moving here? Hello, Ina. Oh, cute pet. Yes. Thank you. Hello, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He pressed again. He stopped the fight with his little ass. Yeah, Pow Pow is all over the keyboard. My little Ash Dula. So what do you think of uh, 1FC uh, like fights? Right now it's Muay Thai fight. By the way. So you're a fight uh, five rounds because the Petmora court here he has the belt. Last time actually I've seen him, he won the belt, so this is the second time I see him fighting, so I don't know much about him, but he's kind of okay. Yeah, he was like truly dodging the face and trying to defend himself. He has like a funny dodging technique, almost like that guy, um, backpack teenage uh, guy who was dancing. I think it's called backpack dancing, so kind of. I think he had the same technique but for dodging. Ben, don't press the buttons on the keyboard, okay? I'm still fighting with him. He is staring at me like, oh, you're so... Okay, stop moving my microphone, okay? Poop pen, I need the microphone. He is moving it. Oh, wow. Pushing it away from me. Maybe you could see his paw soon. Yeah. He's like... He is little Ashtula. Ashtula. <laughs> Again. Again, push it. Stop doing it! Stop it! I was about to say a man who has beaten so many big names over his career, You're a little ass. You're a little ass. You're a little ass. Okay, you know, Poopin, I'm. Yes, the whole world can see you. So don't, don't don't bite me. They can see you. It's it will be the proof for the whole world. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, he, he literally bit me. Look at this face. Little ass. 
is like lying here, invading my space, and also biting and scratching me. And you know what? I still love him. That is the paradox of cats. How is it possible? And also distracting me from tears. Like, oh my god, my whole. Okay, there are some pieces. Shut up, cat. Pieces of skin here. If you see. It's like. And now he's like smashing the cans, beer cans, with his tail. Ah, he wants to fight. He is like. When he's super bored, he really wants to fight. He comes with that cute face. I'm just here. Like, please touch me, pet me. You start petting him, and he's like. <laughs> attacks you and the only way to get rid of him is actually to take the phone or the camera and say okay let's make a video let's take a photo and that little ass he knows what does it mean and he just runs away he doesn't like taking photos okay so patch record or yot sankai Bookman, stop distracting me from the fight. I want to watch it, okay? <laughs> He's like using his tail to push the beer cans away from me. And the thing is, they can spill because his tail is pretty powerful. Damn, my little ass. The tomorrow court looks very I thought, relaxed, like he knows what he's doing. He's just like, oh, whatever you do, I still win. Kind of confident. How do you feel, Poopin? You feel better? You feel better, little Jopin? He said, if I beat Yodson Clyde tonight, I go into the realm of legends. That would be true. He feels this is the time to take Yod's name, the time in Yod's career, with Yod riding a two-match losing streak. Come on, guys. To be honest, I really like those uh, armbands for, like, that Yod's and Klai have, because there are those colors, like, really beautiful pink and sky blue and yellow. I like the combination of those colors. But uh, Petch Morikort has the Russian flag colors, like white, blue, and red. So maybe he's fighting for Russia. Interesting. Interesting. But his uh, trunks are green, so they kind of don't make sense with those colors for the armband. <laughs> Fashion designer is talking here. Whoa, 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 he's bleeding so much. What, what happened? Out of the blue, he's bleeding. Well, where is the jab? I don't see that jab. Okay, there was elbow. Oh yeah, the elbow. The end. Okay. But to be honest, it's only one cut, so... Look, Ireland, uh, Ireland setter, but love cats too. Yeah, I, I can't have a dog because I'm too lazy. Like, when I would leave in the house, I would definitely have a dog for, like, protection and having fun. But in the apartment, oh my god, dogs, no. Because every it means that I'll have to go out and walk the dog out at least twice a day. And one time before work. And my work starts at 7.30. So I have to be at work before 7.30. So I leave home like at uh, six fifty, and to walk the the dog. Poopen, what did you do? It has to be even before that, so it's kind of way too early for me. I can't uh, afford it. Meow, meow. And cats, they're kind of low maintenance, so 
You give them food, you clean the toilet, and you allow them to scratch you, scratch yourself, and that's kind of enough. And also when you want to transport, uh, the cat is kind of slightly cheaper because you have to pay less for the weight, because cats are usually smaller than dogs. Yes, little job, but this little job is a little bit chubby doo, so he's kind of bitty doo. I kind of got the uh, loss. Is it the third round or is it the fourth? Uh, the third, the third round. So two minutes left until the third round. This is basically just with pink fighter. Um, maybe, maybe. I would say bleeding doesn't really show like who is going to win, but maybe. I kind of got lost a little bit with the fight because of my cat distracting me. But let's not forget that Patchmore Court, the green trunk uh, guy, uh, he's the champion, so even if they fight evenly, they pick the champion as a win. Yeah. An unconventional angle, so he's not able to land those elbows. But he does like this catch and counter thing, doesn't he? As they're, they're almost of the same height, so uh, the limbs look almost of the same length, so basically the reach is about the same, I guess. Even though that patch mark was actually tall and his legs a little bit longer. Can be dangerous when you've got your back against the ropes. You don't want your back touching the ropes when you're facing Yacht. But backwards is the direction that Pit Morricot was going in. Yodson fight, eats the front kick and another one. Tries to thread the left hand over the top. But only a slip, says the referee. Yeah, maybe at some I would win actually. No, I do not practice Muay Thai. I don't practice any fights. Uh, to be honest, like sometimes, um, but by sometimes I mean like literally twice a year I go to the gym and I practice boxing and a little bit of kicking and I've been told that uh, I have uh, all the necessary skills for that like um, like my punches uh, could be pretty powerful and uh, have, I can have right technique and uh, correct body type but I don't know, like maybe if I, the thing is that I've started uh, boxing a little bit only in Vietnam and due to my horrible work schedule, like I'm a night owl and I have to basically wake up at actually 6 or 6.30 in the morning to get ready for the job and I start like real work at uh, 7.50 in the morning, the first class begins and and uh, I work until 30, sometimes 5 in the evening, and I, I come back home, I have to prepare classes also, and maybe do some home routine, like cooking, cleaning, or just like watching something, and sometimes and also streaming, so I don't have much time for really for practicing, or even if I have time, I don't have energy, because I hate waking up early in the morning, and I have to... So if uh, maybe I had to work 9 to 6, uh, something like that, maybe it will be easier for me, but at the moment it's so difficult. Oh, karate. I'm <laughs> more quiet. I actually... Uh, what do I have? I have an orange belt in karate. Okay, I know it's like sounds super funny and uh, idiotic, but when I was a teenager, I went to one of the kind of summer camp at the sanatoriums, uh, like the place, uh, kind of a res healing resort, and there was a karate trainer, he came there and we had classes for like maybe 15 or 20 days and I attended these classes and at the end of these classes I got the certificate that I obtained the orange belt. <laughs> but uh, of course I, I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, but what I want like from 20 days or maybe it was even less than 20 days, I don't remember exactly and I was like... 
9 to 10 years old, so yes, I have an orange belt in karate, but I know nothing about it. Yeah, of course it's low, it's basically like a um, stupid introduction into... It's like a trial lesson, basically. But if I like, if I let's say someone, if I have to choose one like martial arts to practice, um, I would say probably I will pick maybe Muay Thai. No, not not Muay Thai. Maybe I will pick kickboxing because uh, I think that I kind of like to punch and to kick. But I don't want to use elbows because I think they're like too sharp and they will be too dangerous. And uh, grappling, like for example, for MMA is uh, too difficult for me because my pull is not strong enough. Uh, this action, I can't do pull-ups at all, even when I practiced acrobatics. Like, uh, for example, while I was practicing a lot, so 100 push-ups was okay for me. It was the norm, not, not a problem at all. And squats and everything was fine, but pull-ups, uh, pull-ups, no. That was impossible. Maybe I could do like one or two and just because my trainer my coach will just help me to push me a little bit just like to pass uh, the necessary requirements and also the other one when you kind of uh, you're hanging and you have to keep your feet with like and legs with 90 degrees angle even that one was too difficult for me, so. But I had really good, uh, like, bending ability. I could bend well and I could stretch uh, kind of okay. But pull ups and those, like, 90 degree holding legs was very difficult for me. Oh, blue brown. So, blue or brown, how much better is it than orange one? <laughs> Because I don't know how, how much better it is. For some reason, like... Okay, I kind of tried to see what Karada was. Like, my dad, he, he had and still has an extensive collection of uh, VHS tapes with all of uh, the karate, kung fu, wushu and uh, Russian, um, traditional Russian fightings and I watched them while he was like, you know, copying from one cassette to another one so I kind of watched them and all of them were fun but to be honest uh, the one that I really enjoyed, I forgot the name, maybe it's called, not Aikido, but maybe Reiki or something. When the guy was not really doing anything, you're like running onto him, you're attacking him, and he just like does this motion, and opponent is falling. Orange, green, blue, brown. Okay, so you are... Two or three belts above me, so basically you've been to you practice karate for, I would say, a couple of months more than me. My little cat is here. Look at this little cat. Look at this little cat. This little cutie My little cutie do. He's won championships everywhere. I love this cat. He is like my little baby. This is the most prized. This is the one. How couldn't you love him? But one super series gold is a little fur ball. He always wants some attention. A little douche. I don't know. Just because of this cat, I stopped paying attention to this fight. I don't know who's going to win. Oh yeah, a lot of years ago. Exactly like me. 
I remember our like trainer coach. He he told us something like it was like kind of cool. So we were like holding our breath, and he was stepping on our stomachs and our bellies, and he was like walking on us, and it didn't feel like heavy at all. And let's say I was like ten maybe, and the guy was. He wasn't tall, maybe he was like of my height now, maybe 170 to 175 and he was kind of, I would say at max uh, 70 kilos or below and uh, yeah, I couldn't feel his weight at all and I was like just a tiny girl basically at that time and the other people were also like young and small <laughs> kids. So that one. I still don't understand how did he do it. Maybe there is like really some technique and I don't know voodoo magic in that with energy and synergy. Okay, fifth round is over. The last time uh, when the guy stood on his knees, that guy won. So let's see who would win now. Wait, what a fool is lying here. Again, he's lying, like, pretend, he pretends to be very cute, but you know, his tail is wiggling, he's like... And soon if I'll try to touch him, he will definitely attack me again with his claws and fangs. I know him. I know him too well. Too well, too well. Cat. What's going on, cat? What's going on, my little cat? What's going on, my little cat? You look like a little rat from this angle. My little rat Dusha. Kasha, kasha. Meow. You want to say something else? Meow. Anything else you want to say? Meow. What do you want to say? Meow. <laughs> Anything else, Mamra? <laughs> oh my god, stop scratching it! Stop it! Open! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no biting, no clawing, no biting, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner! And still! One Super Series Featherweight Muay Thai World cool. Champion! Cool, cool, cool. Petyan D. Did you know that? Did you know? Academy. Oh, so Sinich, uh, Patch, uh, Patch Court, basically, he kept his uh, title and the belt. Nice punch, probably. One. Yeah, no knockouts, but knockdowns, but still. Bell time! And for me, it is the bathroom time because someone drank too many beers. So, have to run and leave you here with my little Poopoo Mer, your host for today is Mer 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 Little ass. When this match started, Pet, Pet Morkai came out and he was just in the first round, just uh, taking his, I think, feeling out the process. And you can see Yod here landing these big shots. These are big shots from the first round. But for me, as the f the match progressed, the fourth round was the difference maker. That's where uh, Pet Morkai really started to turn the gas on and start landing his combinations. That was a slip there. But you can see as this comes later on in the round, you see the bigger shots from Pet Morkai coming in. Good decision. Wonderful action. We move from one world title to another. The one flyweight Muay Thai World Championship is coming up. They've met twice before. Now they meet again. Rod Tang, Pet Dam. Oh. 
มวยไทยเป็นศิลปะที่ทั่วโลกรู้จักของศิลปะการต่อสู้มวยไทยก็มวยไทยเป็นที่หัวใจที่แข็งแรงแล้วก็ซ้อมไม่เต็มที่ต้องซ้อมมันแล้วก็มีซ้อมมีเขาเนี่ยมีอะไรที่คนต่างชาติอื่นเขาไม่ดีมากแต่อีกคนหนึ่งเขาไม่ได้เท่ากันถ้าเขาเป็นแบบนี้ก็จะเป็นคนที่ดีมากแต่อีกคนหนึ่งเขาไม่ได้เท่ากันถ้าเขาเป็นแบบนี้ก็จะเป็นคนที่ดีมากนี่นี่คือพิเศษของของมวยไทยดูไปเอาไว้สวยงามคือทำไมมันเหมือนแบบเล่นมันเหมือนแบบยันเออมันเหมือนแบบเนี้ยจะพอเอาไว้ไปทำไมมันหนักจะสู้ได้ตลอดเวลาถ้าเราไม่ไม่ไม่ป้องกันมันก็ดงดังมาแล้วแต่ว่าแค่เอาเข้าวันมาวันแชมเปี้ยนชิพมันก็ดังทั่วโลกดังขึ้นไปอีกทําให้คนรู้จักว่าศิลปะการต่อสู้มวยไทยเนี่ยมันดียังไงมันเป็นแบบไหนมากขึ้นค่ะแต่ว่า What the girls are fighting again? Are they just talking? Because Stan has just won, so we don't understand. Oh, the boyfriend is fighting now. Oh, 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 oh. Who could have known that Stan's boyfriend is also a fighter? From Bangkok, Thailand, at the Impact Arena, it's the one flyweight Thai world championship. Everything is in his car, and everything is in his car. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, Rotang and Punch Stam, finally. So, who is Stam's boyfriend? Who is Stam's boyfriend? Oh, Road Tang! Whoa! Ooh. 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 So this is like the family of champions. Okay, Road Tang. Is, I, I to be honest, I didn't know that he was Stamp's boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So I definitely would cheer for him. And these uh, these short trunks. Have you seen them? I have like okay, not these ones, another one. Oh, like red and white. I have the exact pair at home. They're not mine, but I I own them at home. Yeah, they're here. Wangnan gym owner Mr. Huan took him under his wing and began grooming him for world championship glory. But in 2018, tragedy struck when the mentor, who was like a second father to him, suddenly passed away. Guys who are lurking, I'm so grateful that you are here. Hello to everyone. You're welcome here. You can keep silent. It's still fine. Mr. Wong by bringing glory to the Jim Wong Nan Gym. In August 2019, Rod Tang earned his shot at the One Flyweight Muay Thai World Title. The Jim Wong Nan star kept his promise. I think I've seen this fight actually. That guy was British, I guess. Again, this fur. Oh my god, it's really, really. I love my cat, but this fur could be so annoying. Like sitting everywhere. Like Rod Tang, world title challenger Pet Tam also started life in poverty. All of those fights, fighters, they start in poverty. Also, you know those something happened to the internet. Like in Thailand, those fighting fight clubs, they take young kids and most of the boys, of course, and they raise them. So basically, they live there and they live there for food. So, yep. So they're growing. Kind of a fighter factory. So when they're 18 or 20, they already have a lot of fights. So they're However, really well prepared. His reign as the world champion was short-lived, as he failed to defend his belt a few months later. 
He's on rubber legs. He goes down. He's gone. So he's an ex-belt holder. Baby shark, baby shark. Do 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 they really hard at this country, yep, they, they truly do. And basically if they're that poor and they have some kind of a potential, there's no other way for that. Or other ways there are so much more brutal. Come on internet, what happened to you? I want to see it. I know it's kind of stung here. What's going on? Oh no, my internet died. What can I do? What can I do? Oh, okay, it, it's back. It's Ian back. Cartwright of Canada, Rob Cox of the United Kingdom, and Alistair McConey of the United Kingdom. What? UK? This match is presented to you by oh. Microsoft. By Microsoft. Whoa, whoa. Out of the blue corner, he is the former one flyweight kickboxing world champion. Come on. At the best match this day. The best. Holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 95 wins and 15 losses. Okay, 95 wins, 15 losses. Okay. Come on again. Stopped. No. What's going on? Training out of Petian D Academy, representing Thailand. Thailand, Put okay. Your hands together for okay, I'm still kind of a, be a little bit behind, so there is like some kind of a delay. Please, okay, okay. One on the champion. He's had 262 career wins. Pit Damp at India Academy, the challenger, 96 career wins, 5 and 1 in 1 Super Series, 3 knockouts for Pit Damp, 7 and 0, oh, undefeated here in 1 for Rod <laughs> Yeah, Bill Gates, that, that's Play weird, like it's like, how much did they pay for match. just that phrase? And there was not even single logo win, there was just like one phrase. Beat him in 2018 also at Back to Moon Stadium. Rod Tang, who won the flyweight Muay Thai world title against Jonathan Haggerty in Manila in August. Made his first title defense against oh. Walter Gonsalves in Tokyo last October. Oh. Second oh. defense oh. against Haggerty in January in Bangkok. Known for his and referee with a mask. Aggression. He is a pure version oh. Oh. of what you call a Muay Mutt. I'm learning. Oh. That's a power boxer. Power with technique. Rod Tang's all about the power. Pet Dam, renowned for that rear leg roundhouse kick. See what he did to Josh Tonner. What he did to Kenny C. He can be slides out on you with a body cock. Lost the title on first defense against Ilian in a hunchy. Also in Bangkok. It was Pit Dam's first ever loss. I know I'm on the right pace with uh, the rest of the world. It was also his first ever loss to a non time. I'm even scared like to eat this ginger, mango ginger stuff. There will come a point. Well, there always has. Where Rod Tang, his hair has like, like a grenade, white decides to pull the pin and explode on his opponent. Oh, oh. We've seen him do it in pretty much every contest he's been in so far here at One Super Series. Feels them out. There comes a point where he decides that's it. He pulls the pin and okay, he so goes. Punch down his and when legs he does, are longer, it's delicious. He's taller. Both men so it very seems like he's getting longer reach. 
But the distance is pretty close, so there's no advantage spot. The success in this match can be found in their past matchups. In the first match, Petdam beautifully established himself. If you look at the right uh, part of the thigh, just over the knee on Petdam, it's already red. Secure a victory the first time, but in the second match, Rodan kept that pressure on and never stopped, letting those hands go at every single opportunity. So it's really gonna come down to who can establish that game plan and really <laughs> teach you what tons of languages. See you soon, Ilola64. See you and um, yeah, but it's not chess. I'm sorry, but it's uh, Muay Thai, kind of. Uh, have fun. Thanks for stopping by and see you soon. Tomorrow is the Russian stream, by the way, in the in the morning by Hanoi time, Vietnamese time. Yeah, tomorrow will be Heroes of Might and Magic. Saturday is for Heroes of Might and Magic. I'm usually streaming in the morning. Able to morning close that distance right after Pet Dam starts to throw that jab. He's really not letting him establish that range and keep that distance. Rod Tang usually goes into berserker mode. But in this thing made me so thirsty. We're going to win finish. You can just see him start to keep that pressure on. Pet Dam has to utilize that jab to keep him away and set up that massive left kick of his. Both men first competed as eight-year-olds. For Rod Zanger, was at a temple fair in southern Thailand. Did so in only two weeks training. Went on to win his first nine matches in a row. Mm -hmm. Nice backing up left hand there from Pet Dam. Rod Zanger and what I like about one of C, like how many guys have a single the twos? Like not so many. And if there is a tattoo, it's not like extremely stupid or ugly. A little bit traditional uh, when it's a question about tattoos and body modifications. Like, I don't have any of those. I mean, except for the earrings, so it's like normal piercing. He just wanted his stable mate. His good friend Pet Morricot retain the world. Uh, the Pet Dam has some bruises in the in the part of his left thigh. But they're pretty old, so they're definitely not from today. So it means he was practicing kind of Put him against the He was really preparing for the fight. Referee breaks the mitch. You can see Pet Dam does a good job inside that clinch. He's got those long arms that can wrap around the head of Rod Tang. But you can see Rod Tang is not now, giving Pet him Dam an edge. Pet is more kind of stocky guy if you look at his thighs. So it could help him to, to keep the balance. Yeah, low kick. I would say if I received that low kick, I would definitely scream because it definitely hurts. And uh, Muay Thai, you can't flinch, you can't really grapple anyone. Well, that was a throw. The devastating liver shots of Rod Zang, the way he dips down, drives the knuckles. What's that kind of uh, thing that. Um, Rod Tang, what pants is he wearing? Black and pink? Rod Tang, is he pink? Rod Tang, is he pink? Usually a delayed reaction. The shot hits, there's a Yeah, because I always forget like who's who. Uh, very hard to get up. Rod Tang and Master at the little shot. Nice hook there from Rod Tang. Misses with the right hand. Looping punches from the tank. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it a knockout? Oh, that, that looks okay. What does Pet Dam need to do here, Dragon? Be careful with that body. She is going. Haggerty and Haggerty was saying how Rod Tang's body punches feel like he was having a rock star in his body. Okay, end of the round. So much power behind those. So when Pet Dam's covering up, he's got to keep moving. He can't just stand there and protect his face because that's what he's going to do. He's going to dig. Well, that was a nice throw. you in the liver. And then he starts to take control because this, these rounds, Three, four, and five are when we start to see 
quad tank do his best work, and it comes from those devastating punches that he unleashes when his opponents start to cover up. Let us know your thoughts across all the Blackpink? Who else would they play there? BTS or Blackpink? The most common bands in Asia. How do you see it after two? Unofficially on my scorecard, I'll go 2019 in favor of Ron Tang after two. Hey, round three. ER Sun, Motai Ba, Rats Ba 3. One, two, three. Eight, two, three. How many languages do you know? One, two, three. Yeah, <laughs> not 1,000 languages, but I'm trying. They kind of started the round pretty brutal. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. <laughs> To be honest, Rotang's torso looks very strong, like a brick, like a wall. Whatever you do, it's like doesn't hurt him. Maybe it does, but but his low kicks, they, they whatever I hear, if it's I don't want to experience that. I kind of think it would even break my shin. Come on, come on, come on! So by the way, uh, hey Lurks today, no spoilers because it is live stream, so I don't know who will win and who will not. So Rotang is in the pink shorts and uh, Trunks and Pet Chan in grey silver. So let's see how it go. Too much clinching and yeah. Using that jab and firing off that rear leg roundhouse, but he was a lot more active. He was throwing a lot more shots. He's allowing Rod Tang to walk him down, get him, to kind of corner him up against the ropes, and then he started to tee off on the hands. Pet Dam's got to be more active, like this. It's again, almost a throw, almost. Oh. But is it like, is this the loud? I don't think so, because it's my tie. The intense rivalry between these two. So fire attack is uh, more Angular aggressive. Words over social media. A couple of weeks ago, with Rod Tang saying that he's been yeah, uh, and he, he, uh, yeah. You see, like he he took his uh, foot and he kicked in the stomach. <laughs> and the knee, okay. He will be break. Yeah, they'll be broken up now. It's fine. This is another okay. good round for Rod Tang Mitch. Yeah, that left hand is starting to test the chin of Pet Dam. Pet Dam's got to be very careful because that's the second time that he's been wobbled by that nice left hook that Rod Tang yeah, started with. And he's doing it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Pet Dam is starting to wobble. Oh, He's so pumped. He's like, yes, I want to fight more. I am ready. I can do it. I can. I can. So, hello, Rattan. Sam's boyfriend. Cheers for you. I'm kind of curious. What do those fighters do after they win? Like, because those Thai fighters, they look so modest and they seem very modest. So when they win, what do they do the same like evening, the same night after? So, like, do they jump into the uh, ice bath to like cure the wounds, or I don't know, do they have the party? Do they go back home? Kind of curious. It should definitely be kind of a party if you win. The question is when exactly. 
because after the fight you would definitely feel exhausted and probably like pain all over your body and some maybe bruises or maybe some injuries. That was brutal. Look at that. It was very aggressive and stressful. I would not want to stand like against throughout time, even a single time. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 They're really scaring me. Those Thai fighters, they're so tough. They need to be called tough fighters, not Thai fighters. And not Muay Thai, it should be tough, tough, tough fight. Whoa, oh, a takedown. But this, this is forbidden in Muay Thai, come on. That is against the rules. Okay. Oh, 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 it seemed like he kind of dodged and after he went straight to the face. But Pet Tam, he looks very tired and Rod Tang looks kind of okay, like, uh, ooh, just like normal stuff. Pet Tam, you can see he's uh, already breathing heavily. It's so true, but you can't go inside a phone booth with Rod Tang. You've got to stay on the outside. You've got to work the kicks both to the legs, to the body, to the head. Step through knees. If Rod Tang comes in, clip him with the elbow. Little bit, uh, to say. We knew you need to say a little bit. We knew you there against the world champion. The young world champion. Hello, like, hello, 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 h
Rob Jack doesn't seem phased. What can phase this powerful young man? This powerful young world champion. One of ten children, the son of rubber tree workers. He's big glitching again, and I missed basically the whole round. Okay, the beginning of the round because of my but who came here? Okay. What's going on? What's going on? I don't see what's going on. Now the cat is coming. my other He's just a monster, Mitch. He's an absolute Muay Thai monster. A Muay Thai monster. <laughs> oh my god, the cat's there is truly like it's kind of walking all over the camera. Oh, sorry, all over the my computer, the keyboards, and everything. Throwing heavy shots. He's actually a technician as well. He can pick you apart. So now you've seen my mini cat, my mini Vietnamese cat. So if, as you can see, she's half of the size of my Bubadini. So one minute left. So who is going? Going to win. Rotang will keep his belt, or Pet Chan will be a new belt owner. I would say so far, not Pet Chan. Unless he will do something crazy. Whoa, that was almost a takedown, so Rotang is keep dominating. And I remind you, takedowns in Muay Thai are forbidden. It's basically like kickboxing, just you can use more elbows and stuff. Cool. Kick again? Oh my god, so he pushed him so many times on the floor and it's like on the ground. Round kick off the left, goes to the body, and Rod Tang just walks away from it. We are going down to the judges. He's just like, okay, is the match over? I'm just walking away. That was like already over and they kept fighting. That is not good, of course. Of course, Pet Chang. I'm sorry, but Rod Tang is going to keep his belt. I'm sorry for that, but... Rutan is going to keep his belt, and the Kuka is going to fall asleep soon at this little table and dance. That was a beauty. That is on the chest of the wall. Cracking round kick to the ribs there, the catch of the attempted sweep, and a work for the You want to say something else? More. Ow. Okay, no, no claws. Okay, no claws. Oh, you can say meow, but no chlowing. Okay. By keeping him up against the ropes and just teeing off okay. on him. He looked really good in every single exchange, consistently putting the pressure on Pet Dam. That's way too long. Show the result. We already know who's the winner. Just say it, my little. Oh, whoa, 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 that was really harsh, Pupin. Okay, no more playing, okay? If you try to bite me even one more time, you're getting off the desk. This will hurt tomorrow. I'll well, get the horrible scratches. Microsoft. And now, ladies and gentlemen, okay, my uh, stream is a bit of a delay compared to other streams. They really said still, so if this is still, it's uh. Okay, my cat will Yes, this is my revenge for scratching me, little ass, and biting me out of the blue for no reason. He invaded my space, he pressed so many buttons, disrupted the stream, scratched me millions of times, and now like, oh, 
Oh, congratulations, Rock Dog and Sam, the champion couple. So it is 10 o'clock in the evening. So should we play one League of Legends? Yes, I think the same way. So let's close uh, this live stream. Oh, oh yeah, not live stream. Only this. Uh, and let's open the Garana, our Vietnamese server for League of Legends. Connect. Now my nose is a little bit itchy. Oh, I guess we could play like one game. Josh, what are you doing? What are you doing there? My other cat is uh, destroying computers. Yep, so we're going to play. play. And here I need to switch to now this scene. Clack, 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 clack. Okay, so probably my video a bit disconnected for a while, but we'll get it back soon, don't worry. Properties. Deactivate and activate. And we are back. Okay. Shut up, cat. Who finally he escaped so I can get my keyboard back into the rightful place where it should be. And then 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 Thank you for following. Dun, 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 dun. Here, where is the game? It's loading. It's kind of very slow for some reason. <coughs> is it like maybe updating or something? It's extremely slow. It's that slow that I can drink cold water now. I truly don't know what's with my internet. It's extremely slow. Okay, so rank or non-rank? Okay, non-rank. So you create the game. Okay, so I create the game and da 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 blind pick da 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 da. So who should I play? Should I play Sorok as Wayne or Ash? That is a big, big question. Why is it the stupid baby shark name is in the like, song in my head? Because of that fight. Rotang and Pechtam, whatever his name is. So as you know, like soon is Halloween and soon is like in three months <laughs> and uh, already picked a costume, it will be Soraka costume. Okay, accept the match and uh, I'm practicing Ash and uh, I guess I will play Ash. But it is so slow so maybe I will have to disconnect guys, we will see. So if I will disconnect, uh, please don't be angry to me because you can see the internet like the speed is extremely weird it's super slow i don't know what to do with it hope it will be fine but if not i will disconnect and anyway i will see you tomorrow with heroes of might and magic in russian so russian stream from vietnam from hanoi city you could ask me 
any questions you want or we can just talk about whatever I think is interesting or you can tell me something that you think is interesting yep your way the stream is your way there could be two reasons he or she is bored of his own stream or he or she is drunk or maybe tipsy or maybe just uh, tired and wants to sleep oh you come welcome back oh oops the microphone fell off i'm not sure that uh, this game would actually be okay because i think today internet is pretty laggy so we'll see if it will work if not i guess it's already not working because i can see like on the other computer it's uh, loading the game and for me it's uh, not really so yeah it's kind of super slow and that is the paradox because i'm using the ethernet cable and it's like basically the same room the same internet the same router same cables why one computer works better than another one it's just like Mm. Like really, really makes me angry. And I even have a cooling pad and extra fan, and it's still super slow. Like on that computer on the left, it's ninety four percent. On my computer, it's seventy eight percent loaded. So how? Marl, push him! Shut up! When it's time, uh, night time, my cat really loves to scream because he believes that going out at night is uh, the best uh, thing you could do. Okay, 100% and 100%. So now maybe we kind of... Um, which level? I'm uh, level 40 only. Yep, you can see here. Yep. Uh, oh, actually 41. What's up? Okay, it's too late. Okay, the game has started. So I'll take you and uh, here Dorian to play. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of learn how to play new champions, and uh, so far, like Ash is uh, the one that they kind of like. Um, yeah, that I like to play. I used to play Sana and Kindred, but Kindred was extremely unsuccessful champion for me. I died all the time. I was super weak. I couldn't help any of my friends and it was like super bad. So I gave up on Kindred. Unfortunately, you can't sell that. Oh, you're 115. Now I started just like recently, not a long time ago, just before the lockdown, actually during the lockdown. So. I'm uh, not a good player, and with Ash, I'm, it's maybe my fourth day playing with Ash, so I'm not really good with Ash. So basically, with Ash, I usually die maybe 10 times, and the champion that I get uh, as is Soraka. I kind of uh, win almost. Okay, not not win, but I get like an S every second time, a third time, or like an, an average is A or plus or something. And another champion that I play is Swain. With him, I'm not really good. My highest score is only A plus, but kind of okay. And um, what of course that misfortune. I got S with her also, but I kind of stopped playing her. I don't know why. And here we're missing actually champions. I'm kind of curious why don't we have anyone here? One, two, three. Are there only three, three guys playing? You. Let's destroy these minions. Oh, and here's one more. Let's attack this tower. Uh huh. Oh no, it's my shooter. Oh, my teammate. Okay, there is Sinjao coming. Let's go and oh, he died. But 
do we have almost three guys? Or... No, he's level one. So it means he has just come. Oh my god, this is how I usually die. I like, I overestimate myself. Okay, let's buy some boots because later on I will not buy anything. I'll be like too greedy and save up for some other stuff. So, another team. What? Uh, no, seems like everyone is okay. Uh, one, two, three, and like two junglers. That kind of looks weird. Okay, let's see. one more. Let's take this view. I have Kindred. Kindred is good. Actually, I've just spoken about Kindred and yep, here it is. Okay, thank you for the torch, Kindred Dusha. My Kindred spirit. Like, I am not against of other people playing Kindred, just definitely I'm not good at playing Kindred. And with Ash, I'm also kind of too aggressive. Who's that? Oh, Sinjala again. Okay, I'm lucky that he decided to go back, so. And just a little bit. Come on, Ash, run, run! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I survived. Oh my god! I hope no one will go like around here. Whew! I can't believe I survived. There is not enough uh, money to buy anything powerful with what I need. So <clears throat> I need to understand that I need don't need to push really that stupid tower. I just need to defend my tower. That's it. Otherwise I will die all the time and they will dominate me. And this is the thing that I'm struggling with. Oh yeah, look here on, my, on the left. <laughs> Got used to seeing myself on the right side of the screen and now like on the left. Oh, what's going on? Okay, level 6, of course. Okay, let's stay here. No, 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 silencing. Come on, come on, come on, get him a bit of his medicine. Oh, 
Oh, I killed someone once? Or it was him maybe once? Oh, I'm kind of confused, I don't remember killing anyone. Maybe when it was like with Kindred. Of course I would miss. Such an idiot. Not good. Who else is there? So the tower killed and I got the kill, at least something. Alright, so now we can buy this uh, sword and okay, the uh, Warhammer, I guess. This will be good, at least something. Shut down. An ally has been slain. I didn't expect this guy like to come and help. I thought I was like just by myself here. I was unstoppable. All Feliordians are. Okay. Shut down. Come on. No, 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 Oh, no, died again. Come on, already two deaths. That is not good at all. Oh, three deaths. Come on, that's even worse. Yep, I definitely need help with this Sinjal. Oh, what? I'm alive? <laughs> thought I was still kind of dead. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, yes, please! Oh no! Oh my god, that tower killed him. Okay, that was my destiny to die there. <laughs> exactly, Pupusha. That was my destiny. How many people are playing actually? Everyone. An ally has been slain. Fear 
Who's this? Uh, Yasuo? Okay, this game is definitely not my game. So I need 100 more to buy that uh, stuff. Let's see if we could get it or not. Wow, wow, push a push. When I say hours, I hear my mother. That one got pushed so hard, we have to go back to the mid, I guess. I guess I will just stay at this tower and uh, try my best. Slaughtering us even at the tower, so it's kind of way too bad. And we are four players, not five. Yeah. Not a fun, 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 fun way. Why do people say no to surrender? I'm kind of wondering. We're definitely losing, we're like one person less. Kindred, please survive! <sighs> yeah, this game was definitely not what I wanted to do. I guess... 
this it will be too early to surrender yeah from the first time it was denied and to be honest no one really okay i was there were only two people no there were four people three of them said no wait i said yes how is it possible if we're like only four so two said no I don't know why we're still trying. We're one person left. The shall unite. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is way too far. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, of course, surrender. Come on, everyone, please surrender. There is no way for us to win. We are four people only, and we are really so. We're really so much worse. Three versus one? Is it yes, I guess? Yep, finally. Maybe we should try like one more game. This one again would be good. Game is still in progress, so every time when I surrender, there's kind of a problem. Oh, I think that's all that I did. So Kindred was also good. Actually, maybe I had to pick Kindred. And I got what? C minus, of course. Uh, Find the match! Yeah, 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 yeah! So now it will be the final match! Let's see how it go. So, should we play Soraka or Swain or Ash? I kind of want to play Ash because I want to practice. For example, Kindred. Uh, why I stopped playing Kindred? Because I always felt weak. I died too much and I couldn't do much. With Ash, I die also a lot, but I feel like, okay, at least uh, I know that I can kill someone if I need to, if, if I have to, if I'm in a really good position. Yep, I can, but uh, otherwise... Um, I kind of maybe too brave with Ash and I need to be more cautious and I don't do that. And recently I also tried to play any, but yeah, I don't think that I truly like playing any. And also any gives me kind of bad memories because one of my co-workers has this name and uh, guess what i truly hate that person okay luckily ex co-worker because this year a new academic year she will be gone huh? Huh. still this name is way too strong for me like i truly hate that person and even playing like a champion that i kind of like uh, Still didn't really work. Let's see, 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 see what will happen. No, okay, uh, the team picked everyone. We picked. Uh, oh no, Baker is still picking something. That we will show here. Okay, he's Baker. Okay, and now the guy is still picking. 
the jungler, he doesn't know who would he be. Four, four, three, two, one, go, 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 go. Prepare for the battle. Let's see, let's see. How could we prepare for the battle? There is no way to prepare. You can just only stop playing and that's it. Why? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit tired uh, after all of my beers that I've drunk. So basically this one will be the final game for the day. So we have Rengar, Ash, Vagar, Jinx and Yasuo. Let's see our levels. About the same and Musty, Fortune, Yasuo, Lee Sin and Wayne. They have three guys with levels so much higher than ours. How is it? How did it match us? Okay, I guess this one should not be with us for sure. Like these two, okay, this one, okay. 80, level 80, kind of. But 140, come on. Why don't we get anyone like 140? Or at least 100 or something. Ha 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 ha. Level 41 and kind of super bad. Okay, so let's just uh, relax and wait. Relax and wait. Okay, I found my tiny scissors. What should we cut? Should we? No, I should. We shouldn't cut anything. We shouldn't play with scissors when we're not over. Oh, truly, truly getting tired. So the final game and going to sleep. And tomorrow we we'll have the Russian stream. Interesting. What are we going to eat for Russian stream? Mm. I wanted to make a Russian cold soup called Akroshka, but I'm not sure that I want to make it like early in the morning. Actually, it will be perfect food for the morning. But um, to make it, you need to wake up pretty early, and I don't want to do that. <sighs> What's up with the messages? Oh, nothing is going on. Okay, let's take Q and Dorian's Blade, Dorian's Blade, whatever. And the go. I say I hear her voice. <sighs> Please, Anna, don't fall asleep. What do you want? Oh my god. They want me to go top, though. Whatever. I don't care about you. They didn't say where they want to go and you know, like if you want me to go by myself, are you sure you want to do that? Of course I know, shut up. But I was like, no other way, but I don't want to be killed by a jungler. Idiots. Who wants? Definitely not me. A great chieftain is called War Mother. Who but a mother has the right to risk lives in war? I am Ad, daughter of Brenna, War Mother of the Avarosians. 
What is this? So this is musty. He knows what to do. He truly knows. Why none of them got hit by the tower? That was pretty close for the tower, I would say. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah, no, come on. He was so good. He was too good. I can't say anything. He was really good. Let's take two healing portions and let's stay at the tower. Yeah, fuck up. What do you say about Ash? You forced me to go top by myself. А, категорию не сменила. А у меня не было сменять категорию, потому что у меня в описании стоит UFC и лолчик, и это не стандартный лол лолчик, это так просто на, по сути, одну игру. Просто в прошлой игре нас э, бортанули, у нас было четверо против пятерых, и мы реально там проигрывали. А тут как-то... Сейчас вот одна игра и все, и спатеньки, и баньки. Поэтому особо менять ничего не стоит <laughs> ради одной игры. Дурацкие мастеры. No, you will not kill me this time. But... Почему моя башня, блядь, не сработала? Она должна была... Давай, давай, прикончи его. Молодец, молодец, молодец. Я yeah, so killed Musty. Так uh, написано же лолчик. Лол. League of Legends. Поэтому, ну как-то я так не подумала, что... Я думала вроде как лолчик, всем ясно. О чем оно? Я просто думала вначале сыграть одну игру перед э, боем, но... Перед боем что-то как-то все не пошло. Интернет был вообще какой-то зависошный. Пришлось вот сейчас играть. Ну не то, что пришлось, мне как-то хочется играть. Но я думаю, что мне надолго не хватит после пивка. Пивчанская дала о себе знать. Так, ну что этого мастера и... Ничего ему тут нету. Блин, дайте мне какую-нибудь ускоряшку. Спасите меня, спасите меня, спасите меня. Ага. Ладно. Значит, мы не будем его прессовать. Ну, чуть-чуть мы его тут подстрельнули. Все. Короче, я не буду там вообще ничего делать. Буду просто стоять по своей башне, потому что э, иначе... Ну, что, мне капец. Пусть вот он сюда идет, и я буду под своей башней тогда уже воевать. Потому что он явно умнее меня. 
Мы будем чисто как стрелять в тех этих последних героев, чтобы получить хоть какую-то денежку. Так, чисто по чуть-чуть. Ну, вот чем они ближе ко мне, вот эти красненькие, тем мне же лучше. Ну, конечно, если они совсем близко, они мою башню будут атаковать, это тоже не очень хорошо. Ну, так, ладно уж. To know where is he hiding? Probably somewhere in the bush. Trying to kill me. You should we try? Well, let's try. We'll see. Не, никого не задели. Что я тут это, это, это смотрелась? Ну ничего, они по походу поменялись с мастерами, но и мне же лучше. Значит, скоро тут это пинжат появится. Нет, туда мы уже все, не пойдем. Поставим тогда сюда эту штучку. Фонарик наш. Пустоит. у нас маны нету ладно но раз нету маны тогда все что назад пойдем что нам там стоять вейн это этот у нас э, какой типа снайпер убийца ассасин Че нам без маны? Назад возвращаться как-то пока не, не особо хочется, потому что... Потому что... Ха-ха-ха! Убили одного! Ля-ля-ля-ля-ля! А теперь... Ну, нужно вот этих прикончить, и тогда мы это... Мы сможем пойти на базу и прикупить вещичек. Все, вот так пойдем тогда. Пойдем, пойдем, пойдем тусить. Покупать какие-нибудь эти меч. Ох, как он называется? BF Sword. <laughs> Лучший друг. Бьет, лучше, лучший друг. Интересно. Так, пока мы туда шируем, мы это... Да, он не сдох. Ну ладно. Что никто пока не идет. Чем мы там все равно отправили-то? Ладно. Никого мы там не застопорили. Не, никого. Ну ничего, хотя бы что-то сделали. Потратили ману, ладно, уже тоже прогресс. Куда этот наш мастер и ушел? Он пошел у нас... А... А, куда у них? Это наша команда, это их. А у них а... нету... Джанглер есть только лесин. Он что, у них не в игре, что ли? Мне так это интересно. Ну ладно. Че, мы пока эту башенку чуть-чуть тут помочим. Тут что-то. Я yeah. 
Ничего, ничего, мы ее против него сделать не можем. Мы слабенькие чувачеллы. Что нам даст? Что нам даст? 20% критического удара или скорость атаки и скорость. Вообще 40... 35 атаки и 40 скорость. Вот это и возьмем. Че, где у них там этот? У них мастер и он седьмой. А я девятый, значит он... У них их вообще трое, что ли, у них это мисфочен тоже что-то не ахти. А, блин, опять попадет стрела, блин, ни в кого. Мисфочен попала, но, блин, черт знает где. Ничего не бесполезно, по сути, было. Давайте туда мы... Ага, забили того, ладно. Ладно, ладно. Потерпим чуть-чуть. Чем тут кого-нибудь тут... Смогли подбить, нет? Не, пока никого не смогли. Ну, чуть-чуть не схочен. О, сил, да, так это круто. Так, это жизнь чуть-чуть. Хо -хо, спаслись, молодцы. Чуть-чуть-чуть-чуть-чуть. Ну что, они это типа завлекают, да? Но мы тоже чуть-чуть. Мы по чуть-чуть тут поки 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 что-то я вообще зачем это я сделала что-то все непонятно было да ладно Нет, нет, нет. Ладно, нас, короче, тут подбили. Это нехорошо. Но мы можем что-нибудь прикупить. Эту штуку возьмем. Критические удары. Сколько она стоит еще? Плюс 20. Надо еще 1200, и тогда мы сможем купить эту саху касатую. А у нас с тобой еще не было, ладно. Ладно, ладно, ладно. Ну чё, 15 минут, 3 смерти, как бы... Обычно к этому моменту у меня уже там 5-6 смертей, так что... Не так уж и плохо. Чё, опять? Снова? Мы вот тут это... Ну давайте попробуем. Ой, стопорнуть. хо хо у кого-то стопорнули. Давайте вперед. Давайте снесем эту башню, пойдем на следующую. Кто его там завалил? Хо -хо, окей, это было не я, это был Вейгар, ну ладно. Э -э, я хотя бы там рядышком присутствовала, уже хорошо. Что у меня это и такая долгая, непонятно. Ну ладно. 
Ну все, используй свою арочку, да. У меня своя арушка есть. Нормально так тоже мы тут -то. И тут я, тут я, тут я. Давайте, 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 давайте. Ох, 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 двух завалили, молодцы. Ну, моих заслуги там почти не было, ну ладно. Из дома башенку тут сейчас возьмем. Ах. И меня, конечно же, атаковал. Молодец. Молодец. Мне нужно еще целых две, две сотни. I need two hundred to buy the essence river. River. Two hundred, one seventy gold. Oh, whoa, whoa, what did I do? I'm an, I'm an idiot. I wanted to buy this one. Okay, now I need to keep more money. I need to save more, more, more. I have heard no better words than the strong must try the impossible. Of course, you haven't heard anything better. God, Ash, you speak way too much without any reason. That is a little bit stupid. Так, чисто напоминашка, это последняя игра на сегодня, точнее первая и последняя, и после нее мы все идем баньки, спатеньки и отдыхатеньки. Там никого не было, ну ладно. Дайте мне кусочек. Давайте эту тогда башенку разрушим, попробуем. Ну что, давайте, 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 давайте. О, -о, -о а вот этот. Окей. Че, давайте убегаем тогда. Убегашки, убегашки. Да, Вейгеры, я мы эти убегашки. Точнее, Вейгер назад-то идет, а я еще нет. Я еще пока боюсь. Давайте-ка. Я еще этот хиличелла. Мне нужно амуницию то купить. Okay, у нас еще Джинкс. У нас тут уже лучше. Не-не-не, Вейгар, давай назад, назад. Ну, короче, нам тут этот каранты капитальные. Ладно. Ну, зато вот на сахатую клику хватило. Okay, next one. What are we going to buy next? Uh, this one, zeal. Uh, maybe not. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Uh, crowd control, the cooldown, magic resist, lifesteal. Mana 20% cooldown reduction. Okay, let's take anti-magic maybe or lifesteal. What do we go for? Sexual attack damage. So let's go for this one. Okay. My other cat is screaming. Okay, let's 
let's go to this tower. Come on! Yeah, 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 yeah! Come on, let's kill this stupid Yasuo, yes! Ho 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 ho! They killed the Yasuo! the tower Let's see how close they can get Can we get this tower? Okay, I died. But we can buy this one and the next one, maybe this one also. So to improve our our attack, so it will be a little bit better. Guys, for all of those who came just now, uh, it is the final game, so watch the 1FC champion. Uh, championship fights and I will not tell you the spoilers unless you watch it or unless you like until you watch it or unless you want me to say it and just at the end of the stream just one League of Legends games and I'm playing Ash not so well already six deaths but um, I'm kind of truly trying yep we're coming 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 when my Yasuo will come a bit closer, I will try to stun this one, maybe from here, yeah, yes, and up under the tower, that's also good. Ha, ha, ha. I helped. Okay, even though I was kind of weak, I couldn't really do anything, but I got stun. At least I got stun, yep. going to die but uh, yep this is how I usually die <laughs> seven deaths yep. um, I think uh, I'm not at that level that I could like run around in the jungles even with one yes even with Yasuo I need like uh, at least maybe two other guys uh, apart from me and uh, can just help a little bit at the end and that's it so four of us dead, three of them dead. So four to three, that's not really equal exchange or like pleasant exchange. Let's take magic resist to kind of get the item going and uh, we'll go mid. Just go mid and try to... He went a bit on the side so... I couldn't do anything with him. Let's go there and go back because we are not really good from that position. gone that is a good thing and basically my teammates they're doing the whole job and um, yep, I'm not doing much I think we've destroyed this one 
ones. Yeah, we that's why we had like super minions. Now it's like time to do it again. Oh, we even destroyed the... Uh, they destroyed the... Hoo-hoo! Okay, so victory! Победа! Congratulations! Okay, obviously not because of me, but um, okay, I also killed a little bit, and I killed and supported overall more than more times than I died, so it's not that bad. But yeah, uh, I agree, it was bad. I would say Vega was very good, and uh, Yasuo was good, and uh, Rengar was good. Uh, I don't know, I'll give it to Vega. I think Vega did a great job, and we'll see because I forgot to check the stats and. Uh, who was doing uh, well and who was not. Uh, okay, Jinx was actually really good, Yasuo was also good, and um, yeah, Vagar was not that good, but I thought he was okay. So my level is C, but Ash, yep, it doesn't really go high. My highest, I guess, is only B+, plus with uh, Ash. Yep, I would say my highest uh, champ is uh, Soraka, but... I don't want to play only Soraka, I want to learn how to play all the champions and so far it's kind of doesn't go that well. But anyway, thank you everyone for today's stream. It was a really pleasant thing to watch the UFC, sorry, 1FC championship together. And um, thank you for being with me, thank you for staying with me for tonight, it's um, over, it's the end. Tomorrow we're going to have the Russian stream, uh, Heroes of Might and Magic third uh, part, uh, through the Hota. And uh, yep, that's it. Завтра у нас будет русский чатик, Герой Меча и Магии, с утречка. В 10, точнее, в 11 часов утра по ханойскому времени. А на сегодня все. Всем спасибо. Всем до свидания. Пока-пока. Люблю вас всех. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.